Everybody, happy Friday. What's good? Hello. Let me uh let me introduce you guys to my mother. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Uh, hello? They okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. I'm I'm not scared. Don't you guys uh say say hi to my mom. Everybody's so excited. Hi. Hi, Mass. Hi, baby. What's good? One of your friends is a baby? Uh, well, it's okay. He's not real. What? Sweetie? Okay, um, <laughs> I'm... I'm a little concerned, but that's okay. It's nice to meet all of you, um... people. Look at all of them. Hi! Hello. Sweetie. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm a sweetie. Yeah, she Duh. is a sweetie. Okay, Duh. let's see here. Hello, Mother Yote. I I wish you'd call me Mama. Why? Okay, but that's fine. That's fine. She's a very creative young girl. I didn't, yeah. I didn't. I didn't come up with that. They did. They did. Oh, they it's did. It's not me. I promise. I didn't do oh, it. Oh, this this is your fault. Okay, you should you should be a little bit more polite. You know, just okay. That's fine though. <laughs> that's fine. I didn't do it. Okay, okay. No, no, these young, um... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men? Women? Gentlemen? Uh, young ladies? I'm not sure. They're... Let's see. Hi, Mama Yote. Okay, they... Okay, interesting. They all are calling me that. That's strange. So they all are on the same page with this. That's strange. Okay. Yeah, they were expecting you. They wanted... They wanted me to invite you onto the show. Okay, that's... Huh. Well, what is it you do here? Uh, we talk about ghosts and, uh, play, I play games and, uh, that's it. Nothing else. Okay. You, you do, you, you love little ghosts, I guess. Okay. What mm -hmm. would you like mm -hmm. to be called, ma'am? Um, uh, ma'am is very polite of you. Yes, that would be lovely, actually. Ma'am is good. Um, I, I suppose Mama Yote, if you, if you need to, um, uh, that's that's perfectly acceptable, sweetie. Shouldn't you be wearing a hat, by the way, if you're if you're hanging out with people? Uh, I let I left my hat at home. Okay. Um. She's she's one of the little anime fans, you know, the ones that wear the funny little fake ears and stuff. It's very cute, isn't it? Yeah. That's that's real fun, it's, isn't it? Yeah. That they're, they're not real. <laughs> They aren't real. Um, they aren't, sweetie. <laughs> um, she's she's a very sweet young girl. So um, what what um, what's going on here? Let, wh why am I doing that? I'm not doing that. Like it's it's showing me do something. I'm not over there. What? How does that work? What? Oh, that it's... oh. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Somebody. Um, so I don't know why that uh, that's there, mom. Don't look at that. That's that is that's <sighs> fake. That's not real. This is an AI generation. What are you doing? I hey, didn't. I'm... I didn't. I didn't do it. I promise. It wasn't oh, that's me. Not... Uh, sweetie, I believe you. Oh my god. This is. <laughs> this is the... okay. Your daughter Chizu is a wonderful person who works really hard. Oh, oh yes, she does. Oh my goodness, Phantom. You yes. Okay, I like that little one. That one's fun. Let's see. They're not real. No, this is. An, I have never done that in my life. Oh, yeah, I'd never stick out my tongue like that. That's that's very. I've never. Silly. I've never seen it. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. All right. Well, which of these young gentlemen and ladies are doing that? We need to. Uh... Oh, a flower. That's nice. That's cute. Okay. Some. Some of the. I like some of these oh, little guys. That is okay. really cute. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Can you um? Can you introduce me to each and every one of your friends? Each and every... Okay. Yes, oh, that, I, I need to that, know them there's, all. There's Varys, the Spider King. Hi, Varys. There's just me. Hi. Here's Mass. Mass is great. Why... Why are you shaking your behind... Oh my god, sweetie, I can see your undergarments. <laughs> oh my god, sweetie, I can see your undergarments. This is... This is not... Okay. It's not real. It's not... It's... 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 it's it's the magic of this room. It's this just the room. I promise. It's like a hallucination. I'm sorry. Well, well you sh they should be hallucinating something a little bit more pure and um, not as profane. Another one. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. 
You should be, sweetie. I'm so sorry. What are these young men doing here? You be polite and to I my daughter. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Phantom. You seem like a very nice young man, and I need you to calm myself down. You just shake your down. booty one time. Apparently, and somebody they... gets it on the internet, and it's there forever. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. You take this it, down. I have ways definitely... of taking care of you. You. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. They're your little buddies. <sighs> <laughs> I definitely, I definitely, it wasn't on purpose, I promise. I promise, Mom. Oh, I know you, sweetie. You'd never do something like that. She's a good girl. She's a very good girl. Let's see here. All right. I'm hallucinating pizza. Well, you should eat something. That's, that's where you start with that. You need nourishment. You're going to get very sick if you don't eat every day. I, I'm sorry. I'm in, I'm in a tizzy right now after seeing <gasps> what you, what you guys are showing off about my young lady here. Okay, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Sorry, sweetie. Please introduce me to your buddies. Um, which which ones? Uh, which one? You don't have to introduce me to all of them, but if there's anything, you apologize for these hooligans. Thank you. They aren't I, being respectful. I'm, yeah, me too. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry these hooligans came in here. I don't know what's going on. Thank you, sweetie. It's okay. I, I know that these aren't your. I know. Just me says yeah. you're extremely pretty, and that's true. That's very nice of you. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm 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 calming down. I'm starting to I'm starting to try to All right, they've stopped they've stopped doing that profane thing where they're oh, showing you shit. I'll introduce you, Oil. Oil is very cool and individual. He draws very good pictures and definitely not anything sussy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what do you draw? Is it is it still life? Is it landscapes? Is it um what what kind of stuff? Uh Oil drew a very cool picture of me. Oh, of my daughter! I'd love to see it. Can I see it, please? Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you. <laughs> okay, okay, that's wonderful. I don't think you're gonna like it. Oh, sweetie, I'm gonna love it. I'm sure they did a beautiful job with it. Let me find it. Hold on. Yeah, take I your time. It. Take your time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there it is. You're gonna love this. I'm gonna put it up on the screen too, so everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. What happened to my face? Everybody. Wow. Thanks for the gift, Subspheravus. That's crazy. This young man okay. just gave you five gifts. That's so nice of them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, people give me gifts all the time here. That's way too big. Wait. Way too big. People give you gifts all the time. None, you're not involved with any of these young men or ladies, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. Are you sure? Yeah, yes. Sweetie, that would not be good for you. Oh, oh my god. Wait a second. Wait what a is second. That picture that oil drew. It's a it's a beautiful picture, but that's not that's not what she looks like. That's not what she looks like at all. She's a beautiful young woman. This is not what she looks like. Don't put it over your face, sweetie. She doesn't look like that. That's very strange okay, that you interpret it. her that way. That's, thank you. Yeah, she doesn't look like that. She doesn't look like she's a very uh, she's a very nice young girl. She's completely normal. She's completely normal. I'm so sorry. You should be. No, I mean that's very nice of you. Thank you. It's a very beautiful picture. Um, I'll draw a nice picture of her later. Thank you. Maybe even without the ears. She has nothing going on with her. She's completely normal. She's completely normal. Oh, God. I don't want to have to move again. She's completely normal. Leave Dear Lord. Leave the ears. Leave the ears. <sighs> okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. But, um... Oh, well, also tiebreaker. Tiebreaker? I thought I turned that off. Oh, no. <gasps> well, Thanks. One of your little... Somebody, somebody was so not... One of, one of these... Buddies was so nice and just got me Mario Wonder. Oh, that's heck? so nice. Thanks. That's crazy. You're not involved with that young man or woman, are you? No. no. Sweetie? No. Sweetie, I know when you're lying to me. Nah. Okay, she's not lying to me, but but you, you better not, not get any no ideas. None none of you get any ideas ever, okay? Wouldn't not be good for with her. anybody, I promise. All right, I'm I'm gonna watch you. <laughs> I'm checking that Mario video game for chips, by the way. If you, sorry, I'm getting. That's you right, know what? That's right, bagel. It's... Mm hmm Can't handle Very... moving the containment again. 
Ah. J- just moving, just moving. We're, we, we're normal, we're just moving. We would just be moving, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, yes, yes. Just moving. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I have, let's see. Embarrass Cheesy. You can't embarrass. No, no, no. Me? Or you? Yeah. Who's getting embarrassed? I have a feeling some people are planning to embarrass Cheesy. You couldn't embarrass no him. No way. He's too sweet. I couldn't get embarrassed. There you go. Yes, another transfer. Student mm-hmm. trans- transfer student again, just like this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to move for work a lot, unfortunately. It's all related to me. Nothing to do with little Chizu here. She's she's a good girl. She loves her anime, completely normal. Just a very nice yeah, young woman. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm just a normal student. Mm-hmm. That, yep, totally normal. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You all know that, yeah. We all respect your daughter. Makes me so happy to hear. So happy. Your hunting buddy. Hunting buddy? Oh, we play Monster Hunter sometimes. That's a video game, Mom. Monster Hunter? Yeah. Monster it's called Monster Hunter World. I Where don't you hunt monsters. I don't think that's a good idea for you to be playing, sweetie. She's not going to be playing that again. Just you, I don't know. The the hunting of the monsters, you don't think it's a little bit too much for you? Just. It's fun, mom. <sighs> it's not, it's not like that. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I need to, I need to take a step back. What are your favorite parts of the Chizu show? What's the Chizu show? That's Is this... this, you're, you're on it right now. Is this like the late night? Television? Uh, yeah, something like that. Sure. Okay. Except we're gonna, we're gonna play a video game here in a little bit. Okay. All right. And these are all your friends from the from the late night television show you do. Yeah. They're all they're my fans. They're and they can talk to you right the second. That's strange. Yeah. The internet's crazy. It's a lot cooler than it was when you were a kid. I. I guess so. It, it, it's okay. The monsters aren't so bad. Some of them are cute. Yeah, some of them are very cute. It's true. But um, but but not many of them. No. Um, not not many of them. Uh. Anyways. Uh. A lot of chiz heads. Is that slang for something sexual? No. Are you talking to my daughter in such a way? Dear it's Lord. Just- it's just what uh, I call my fans, Mom. Why? That's... It's a little profane, sweetie. Couldn't you call them something like little friends or... Um, I don't know. I thought it was funny. It's just, um... Sweetie, I'm, it's just there's a word associated... Hmm. What? There is? Hmm. Okay. Um... It's just, um... What's that? It's just I, if that... I wouldn't know. What okay, it? it's what's wrong with you? Hmm. Um, it's just that it could sound a bit like um. All right, I didn't. I guess you are old enough, but I didn't think it would be in so front of so many people. Um, when a man loves a woman very much. Wait, wait, no, I know, I know it, I know about that. Okay, okay, it's just they refer to the certain, um, there's a certain substance involved that may be referred to oh in such a, in such a, okay, sweetie, we, I we don't I can't believe to. you were gonna do that in front of all these people. Well, when you're saying that word for so long, it looks worse, like you don't know what it means, and then you need to clarify, um, I just, my daughter is not, in, in no way, shape, or form meant to, um, make any sort of innuendo. She's a very pure and young, wonderful oh, girl. Yeah, I've never done that. Um, I've never done innuendo on my show. Never. That's good. That's very good. She's she's a very sweet young girl. Um what should she call her fans instead? Um well um, Yeah, what do you, what would you what would you suggest? <sighs> what would you suggest, Mom? Okay, so you, you you have a show about paranormal activity of some sort? Totally, I'll that's s- all it's about, yes. Talk okay, about what the about occult. Okay, the occult. Um, what about, yeah. um, what about, um, scary little guys? What about that? Because it's very scary. Scary little guys? That's Yeah, that'd cute. be cute. Yeah, That's scary little cute. guys. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that for today. 
Chiseler's I mean, we can do that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah. What are you? Chiseler's? It sounds like candy. It it does. It's like I, I, I could eat them up. That. Like nom, 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 nom. that sounds very good. Yeah, I could. I'll, I'll go buy some chiselers if they exist. To ask for this. That sounds fun. Heck yeah. Have a nice little, yeah. Little snack. Um, I am about to ban some people in chat. What, what does that mean? What? I can just kill who them. Who says that? Wait, who said that? Oh no! Wait, you can't. Mom, you can't kill anybody here. Why not? It's, if anyone, well, they all seem like nice young men and women, sweetie, but if anyone's a little rude to you, or if anyone, you know, starts to figure out, doesn't, you're fine, you're fine, okay. But, but we probably won't okay. have to do that, it's okay. fine. Okay, you're safe, Chiaki. Yeah, you're not banned. Is that okay. what you refer to when you have to take care of someone? They're banned? No, that just means they can't come to my show anymore. Oh, okay, that's, that's not that bad. It's not okay. like taking care of somebody. <laughs> okay. The Ace Grace, you better stop doing that, though. I can see that. My young, my, my little girl would never do such a thing. Never. You, I would never put, shake my butt. You put that booty away right now. I'm sorry you should be. Okay. Mm-hmm. Start to figure out what, ma'am? It, it, um... Um, that, uh... Um, hmm. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Okay. Yes. Nothing at all. Uh, what? Varys says that everybody calls me a plant. They used to do that. They used to call me a plant. They used to think I was a plant. Because of my messy hair. Because oh. it's green. Oh, I could see that. It's very cute, sweetie. Oh, that's you. That's sweet. Like a plant or a little tree or a little sprout. Oh my gosh, my little sprout. Okay, How cute. you know what? That's kind of cute. Yeah, that she's my little cute. sprout. I'm not Aww. a plant, though. I'm not a plant. Okay, <laughs> we, we won't call you a, pr a plant, but little sprout. That's adorable. Um, is there something being hidden from us? No. Mm -mm, there is oh, not. Sprout. You, oh, sprout. Yeah, <laughs> she's my little sprout. You be polite, and um, if a woman volunteers information to you, wonderful. If she is, if she is being somewhat withholding. You must understand that that woman is usually doing so for the good of your community and yourself, and you need to just back off, okay? Just back off on it. Okay, that's okay, though. You're so nice to her. That's lovely. Okay. Don't encourage this. What's plant zoo? Okay, well, I don't know. It's fine. Good, good. We don't want that. We don't want me to... I'm not a plant. I'm not a plant. No, she isn't. She isn't. If, if it makes you uncomfortable, sweetie... They need to back off and they need to be polite. That's just how it is. Okay? Be polite. When, when can I have a sleepover? I have you. You said I can't have a sleepover for like years. I want a sleepover. Um. Oh, that's um. That's something that we're gonna have to discuss a little bit more in detail later. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Fine. It's it's um, it's just a matter of uh. Yeah, sleepover with my scary little guys. All of them? There's so many of them. No. May well, can... maybe not all of them. Okay, a few of them. Okay, sweetie, you. Mm. No, I don't want them. <sighs> I don't want to say no to you, but there's just what if we bring like food? Like last time when you made us pizza rolls. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, well. <sighs> if you let me screen them, do a quick. 90 day background check. Mm. You're in, guys. You're in. Blood tests too. We're gonna have to blood test them. What blood tests? What are you What are you testing blood for? Just to make sure they're not bringing any pathogens in the house. And then maybe, um, maybe just maybe we'll use some very very light um, amnesia inducing sedatives when they're leaving. We, uh, but, 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 Very light, uh, sweetie. They'll at least remember that they were there. Maybe not much else. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll take what I can get. Yeah, just just to make sure you're safe, sweetie. Just to make sure you're safe. It's okay. Oh, yes, hi, Crow. Fruit Hello, snacks. Crow. I love fruit snacks. I like fruit gummies. Yummy, yeah. yummy. But eating food that people are bringing you? It, you're not eating food they're giving you, right? 
No, I'm not, no. Nobody has ever sent me food. Not okay? Mm-hmm. Not Are never. You Are you lying to me? No. Of course not. I wouldn't lie to you, Mom. Mm, I can tell when you're lying to me. Not. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I, I got right. those I got those MREs from 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 the from school. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, that's that's okay. You know what? I'll believe that. School's gotten very um They've had to make a lot of budget cuts, you know? School. That's why they, that's why this room is so dirty. Nobody comes and cleans this room. Oh god, it's shame. filthy. Sweetie, no, you need to start cleaning it. I don't clean stuff. I don't even clean my room. What are you talking about? I know. This is this is this is horrible though. You have guests over. Okay, but, which um, of you'll start helping us? Come on. Oh yeah, that you know what? That's a great idea. Chat, you gotta help me. You gotta help me clean up the room. <laughs> clean up the club room. Yeah, come on. Okay. Um it's part of your dues. Let's see. They they at least need to start getting Oh my god, you have spider webs next to burning candles. That's gonna catch on fire. My god. But I need them for the for like seances and stuff. Ah. Ah. Come on. Have you ever done a seance? Sweetie, what I got up to in college is is my business. I'll, I'll tell you about it later, but um I think you need to a seance is fine. These spiders, though, oh, they're gonna give you something nasty too. You, I mm. like spiders. That's I like fine. Sp <sighs> mm. Spite. I like spiders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what I meant. Yes. Spiders are lovely. That's fine. But you you gotta take down some of these webs. They're gonna start giving you some sort of disease or illness. Um. Stop. There is a lot of dust here. It's it's quite it's quite rough. Um. Oh God. You know what, though, sweetie, I appreciate you. I know you're very creative. Maybe this is just what you need to do to feel good about. Um, I don't know. We're at least going to get a humidifier in here. It just makes it creepier. That's all. Honey, you're not going to get very creepy if you get asthma. This is just... Well, are you sure? That would make Maybe that would make me have a creepier voice. And I'd be like... Huh? You would have a very creepy, like, rasp, I suppose, but... um. There's nothing, there's nothing fun or creepy about going to the emergency room, so let's, um... I guess you're right. That's fair. I'm sorry. Sweetie, you're, you're very creative, though. If you need the... Mm, maybe you can keep up... At least take down the ones that are, like, on eye level that you walk through. I don't know about those. Uh, Aren't the skulls cool, though? Look at them. Aren't they cool? Where did you get these? Yes, they are very cool, though. They're very fun, but where did you get them? Uh, I asked one of the CCOs, uh, a few months ago, like, a few months ago. Which to one find was me it? Some. Was it Steve? I really like I Steve. Which one was I, it? I don't want to tell you. They can't be giving you skulls, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they're ethically sourced. It's fine. Oh, sweetie, it's not about... The, oh, it kind of is. Okay, human sacrifices, it's not grave robbing, it's archaeology. Oh, God, okay, well, I've, um... There's never been a sacrifice in this room. Was it Steve? It might have been Steve. Oh, my God, Steve, I knew it. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. I like Steve, too. Don't, don't take care of him, please. We have to, sweetie. He can't be going nah. and doing this kind of stuff. Oh, my God. <sighs> right after Bob, too. But I he liked lets Bob. Me play, he lets me play the games on his phone. He shouldn't be. You shouldn't have <laughs> access to his phone. It has a lot of very intense and personal information no, on there, even I if like you like the Steve. Minecraft. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you can he like Steve. He buys me nuggies. He buys you chicken nuggets? No. Yes. Oh, my. <clears throat> okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, real... Steve. I'm gonna have a real good talk with Steve. We'll see if we can get away with some light sedatives and maybe sending him to a... Uh, somewhere. Oh, for no. a while. Don't send him there. Uh, he'll... It's... No, 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 please, Mom. Sweetie, he bought you I'm nuggies. 
I'm gonna miss Steve. Oh my god, we're gonna have to get you on a multivitamin. You <laughs> should- uh, you, you can't just keep doing this to these nice guards that I- Okay, I mean, mother's associates that come by the house to, to hang they, out. They're, they're my unrelated. babysitters, it's fine. Yeah, just your babysitters. Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Steve was a good babysitter. He was a very good babysitter. Uh, Bob was a good babysitter, too. Yeah, Bob and, was good. Bob was real good. Yeah, Bob was really good. Bob almost caused some really good problems being such a good babysitter. Oh my god. Ah, Steve, you son of a... Uh, anyway, sweetie, oh my goodness. Um, We're all gonna see the hat man that... Don't... No, 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 you're the not. The hat man. No, <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, Why? The hat man's cool. Have you met the hat man? Uh... I've met a lot of nice young gentlemen and women in my line of business, sweetie. They're very... interesting. Um, Have you met any cute ones? No, not as cute as you, sweetie. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. They're... they're not really... cute. They're kind of... disgusting, terrifying, vengeful creatures that... Just yeah, unrelated to this... They yeah, big don't... Teeth. Yeah, they have horrifying big teeth. They're truly abomination. No, no, don't worry about it, sweetie. Um, does, your, does your work have a bring your daughter to work day? Oh, that might not be a great idea. Uh, but we could... Hmm. Oh, God, no. No, you'd cause some problem. I mean, it would be... You know what? I think. I think we should just... Hang out at home, your school, live quiet, relaxing lives. I think you're just, you're too good for, to be sharing with, like, my co-workers and all that. Like, they would, you just be too impressive. I want to meet people, I want to go outside. No, you, <laughs> I think, I think you're doing great where you are right now. Look at this beautiful, uh, disease-inducing club room that you have here. That's just I don't fun. think it would make you sick. Maybe no. Oh, God! What is- That is in your face. I gotta- Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry, God. Mom! It's right out of your face! Hold on, I'll turn it off. What? Why is this woman doing that to me? What is this? Oh, they just got, a uh, A hostess club me membership card. Why were they sharing it with you? Why were they shaking it in our faces? But, 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 uh... It does. It doesn't mean anything. Don't don't worry about what that is. That doesn't sound right. What What do you mean? It. it it's not. It's. Mm, I'm definitely not running a secret hostess club somewhere. Are you lying don't, to me? Don't know. Are you lying to me? I, I don't even know what a, I don't even know what a hostess club is. Okay. All right. You're a good little girl. But I don't know about these young ladies and these young fellas. I think, um... I don't know. You do not have to work anymore. My daughter's not gonna end anyone. She's a good, polite young woman. She can't... She couldn't harm a fly. She's very polite and gentle. No, of course not. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a very good girl. I don't get in any trouble. Mm-hmm. What's your most embarrassing story you have of Chizu? Oh, that wouldn't be nice to tell about her in front of all of her little buddies. Oh. Yeah, don't don't embarrass me. It's okay, it's okay. I, I mean, can't be more embarrassing than having your booty on national television, so... Um, I know, that's so, it's so embarrassing and definitely not on purpose. It's, it's horrible what they did. I'm gonna find whoever did this and whoever started this, and I'm gonna make sure that they pay for their crimes. Don't worry, sweetie. <laughs> ah. Did your mom call me a girl? Aren't you a girl? You have flowers in your name. So, ah. I assume. You know, there's this game called Amori, and there's a boy that has a flower crown in it. Huh. And his, his name is Basil. Basil? Yeah. He's Interesting. Very He's very cute. Okay. Um... The kids these days are just very, um, 
they express themselves in different ways than when I was a child. That's very nice, though. <laughs> How do I sew a button? I'm not really that type of person. Um, I have a high-end job in a, um, no, no, nothing that you would relate to or understand too easily. So I just have a job kind of in the, um, uh, <clears throat> Hey, Xylus uh, wants a McChicken on the way back from our road trip, when we play our road trip game today. Ooh, McChicken! You excited for that? Should I pick some up? I can't uh, have those anymore. Last time I had one, it made me sick. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's true. Hmm. But I'd be cool if we stopped and got one. Well, I could get something gonna... else. I could get, I could get a chocolate milk. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? A little it? chocolate milk from McDonald's. Oh, we should get you chocolate milk. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, that would be lovely. We should take a little road trip together with a small detail. Just... Mm, yeah, with a small detail, at least. At least six people. At least six babysitters, I mean. That, that, that might be possible. Six? Six? Six. What? Last time it was three. Well, last time was a little bit rough, wasn't it? Okay. You only um, no, you sent me to school with three. Six? Well, Am I in a... trouble? Did I do something? You mm. didn't do anything wrong. It's okay. That's a little, That's so many. It's just there's a lot more road and places you can get lost out there, so. I guess that's true. Wild coyotes and keeping them out of trash cans. You're right, we probably won't relate. Well, <laughs> hmm. Nothing I can talk about right now, but young man, that's a noble pursuit. Noble pursuit. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, my mom does look out for me. She she does. Mm -hmm. She takes really good care of me. Mm-hmm. And I always will. You're a good girl. You're a very good girl. Um, what are you looking for in a babysitter? Well, ideally you'll have your arms per uh permit. Um your arms attached to your body. <laughs> Uh, for hugs. Yeah, for hugs. For hugging, for hugging children and my little girl. Uh, being real kind to her. Uh, and uh, let's see what else. Not, uh, not guns. Definitely def not guns. Definitely not guns. Definitely not guns. Um, concealed. Shiru, or Shiru wants to know if you approve of my business opportunities and team building. What are you I, doing? I feel like I feel like that's code for something. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I, I'm not doing anything. Um. Would you like to elaborate, young man? What are uh, what are these business opportunities you're talking about? Oh, that's Shiru is she's she's a uh, she's 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 a how do I put this? She has a show too. Oh, she okay. Um, young woman, what are you talking about? Hmm. Young woman, what are these business opportunities? You can you can elaborate further. Please go ahead. It, it don't. I'll wait patiently. Don't, Shiru. Shh, shh, shh. I will wait patiently. <laughs> no. Go ahead and tell us. I'm in trouble. I'm an, I'm about to be in trouble. You're about to I be in trouble. I can feel mm -hmm. it. I can feel it. You have an LLC? That yeah, yes. That's what it is. Sweetie, I'm it's, so proud of you. That's incredible. Yes, My it's goodness. Just, it's just a team of girls, and we get together oh. and uh, do business. Oh my gosh, Shiru, thank you for bringing this to my attention. What a nice young woman. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I'm so proud of you, sweetie. It's it's very hard to run a business. It's very hard. It's, yes, it, yep, it is. Have you seen all these pretty pictures of your daughter? Oh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. Let, let's see what you're doing here. You're holding a little Those heart. Those are cute. Oh, mm -hmm. you're waving. Oh my gosh. They're very cute. Thank you. Thank I, you I really me. like the one where I'm eating the biscuits. Oh, it's very adorable. Oh, one after the other. Oh, you do love your biscuits. Oh my goodness. I, oh. yes, I do. <laughs> Jesus is holding me hostage. What? That's silly. That's impossible. What are you doing, sweetie? 
I'm not holding you hostage. <laughs> what? That's silly. Okay. I couldn't do that. Do we need to search your room again? What are you doing? Please don't search my room again. Oh my god, okay. We're searching your room soon. I'm no! sorry, sweetie. I love you, but you have to be a little bit more... <sighs> oh no! <sighs> it, oh god, I can't practice magic anymore. You what? It's... It, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, spells. Magical spells. I'm, I was doing magical spells. Okay. In my room. You don't want- you don't want to go in there. It's scary. Well, Maybe so you should have some CCOs do it. But you- you don't want to go in there. It's not gonna be Steve, sweetie. They're gonna- they're gonna tell me what's in there. It's not gonna be Steve. <laughs> no. <sighs> uh, this is bad news. The Chiz Cord gifts? Oh my god, what is that? Chizcord gifts? Chizcord gifts? I don't know. Sweetie, we're gonna put Citrus. a- we're gonna- We have to start putting like one of those like par parental watches on your computer. Like, I don't know about this. I thought you were- this is- this is concerning. Don't do that! Oh, no! One I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Just don't look at my browser history this time, okay? At least do that for me. At least do that for me. Oh, so there it is again. Oh god, okay. That's... That's Emmy. You remember Emmy? You know Emmy. She's a ghost. She, she pretends to look like me. That's nice, sweetie. I'm, I'm happy you have good friends. Why is this... Oh, there, there we go. Um... That's very lovely, though. That's wonderful that you've made such good friends, and I will be searching your room personally no, when the, no. once this is over. Just, just, just save my browser history. Don't don't look at it, please. Well, what are you looking at online that would get me concerned? Nothing. You know this is gonna go a lot better if you tell me right now, right? Ah! Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Don't take away my Yuri manga, please. Oh, that's fine. You can look at those little girls making kissy faces at each other. I don't care about that. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, good. Good. <sighs> We're safe. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's normal for a girl your age. It's fine. It's fine. No mother would be upset if that were to happen, or they'd be very rude if they were, dear lord. Um, I just thought you were maybe housing random people in your room, kidnapping them, accepting no, gifts from strange people not online. This time. No, wait, no. Okay. All right. No. Okay. Okay. Check the door in the back of the closet. How did you know about that? Okay. All <laughs> right. I can't have any good things. This sucks. Well, don't... well, as long as it's not weird, are you... Okay, well, look, I... Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um... It's fine, it's fine, whatever. Okay. Okay, well, sweetie, would you, um, would you want to play that video game you told me about? <gasps> um... Yes, let's play it. That's it's a great a idea. Trip? Okay, okay. Let's do that then. Okay, um, okay, let me... I gotta move some things. You, you, it's, it might feel weird. Hmm? Don't worry about that eyeball. Don't, don't worry about okay. that. that mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Don't you worry about that. Let me scoot over. It is worrying, I'll tell you that much, but... No, it's not, it's not what you think. Um, okay. It's not what you think, Mom, I promise. It's not... It's just, it's just a cute eyeball, <laughs> not anything else. We're going to have a talk once people aren't looking at us. This, uh, <sighs> I mean, we're going to have a very nice heart to heart once people aren't looking at us, because I'm very oh, concerned good. about this. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay. Chizu is I'm very phallic. To... Shiru, you... What? This young woman is... I don't know what about that. What does that Let's... even mean? <laughs> that is a very sexual term to use with what my daughter, and mean? I best... What does that mean? What does that mean, Mom? Um, phallic is, um... When, when a man and woman love each other very much, sweetie, um... <laughs> sometimes the young man will start to, um... Have a reaction to uh -huh. that love and, and care associated with that. And um, uh -huh. it will produce results that people would often um, 
be referred to as phallic. Um, it refers to a man's uh -huh. genitals. Uh -huh. I didn't want to have to tell you this in front of so many people, but um, um, so when when she's saying that you are phallic, it means that you have traits uh -huh. of um a man's that's crazy yes engorged uh it, very horrible word to use but i don't know what else to the, let's play your video game um let's see okay here we go um we, we don't need to worry about this any longer sweetie okay okay that's yeah that's fine that's fine okay cool and after well, i got the game up here okay there we go um you gotta ready up ready up this this you one gotta ready up Okay, what is this? Okay, I think it's working. What is this? Oh, it's road trip style. Let me see. If I, do I want a clicky clicky? Yeah, I can clicky. Oh, they're so friend cute. Friend hugger. Oh. What does that mean? Play with your friends without anyone ending up with a failure or an MVP ending. No pressure. Oh, this is like difficulty. Okay. Um. Do you like it? Do you like it hard or soft, mom? Sweetie, when you say that, it could, um, okay, um, well, uh, you, you should really be a little bit more, <clears throat> okay, uh, I'd say whatever you'd like to pick here is, is perfectly acceptable. I like hugs. Do you like hugs? Hugs seem very nice to okay, me. Okay, let's do a hug. All right. Wait. There you go. Wait, was that not, this is, there's another one? Okay. I don't understand that, but let's just do normal. That sounds I'm good. Look at that ghost and that werewolf. Look at that. They look interesting. They're they're monsters for sure. They look cute. They're, okay, sweet. You don't want to get too involved with um. But I mean, they're they're very sweet. Which which one's more your type? So I can just be on the lookout for what you love in a in a character. I like them both, but I think the one on the left is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be careful for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just be a little bit more careful. Okay. Gotcha. What does this mean? Mythical beast of asphalt. <gasps> we once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, when we were young and afraid, summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott. Polly's a ghost. Get it? Okay. Like poltergeist. Oh, oh, cute. That's very cute. The whole thing was bound to go off the rails. This was the the prank masters. Ooh, Scott Howe, 21. Hmm. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly, guys, 22, question mark. It's because she's a ghost. Hmm. Who knows? Party ghost. Party! She's a party ghost, Mom. I don't think you should talk to this young woman, sweetie. I'm just, um... Do you not like parties? I'm, I'm fine with parties, sweetie. It's just this young woman... Uh, maybe... She, she seems gonna, like a lot of trouble. Okay, we're fine. gonna go on a road trip with them. It's fine, right? It's like gonna be a party, but in a car on the road. Okay, okay. It's but, like it's when we fun. move. Except there's less guns. Okay. Okay, I gotta pick a person. <laughs> There's no guns when we move. She's she's making a silly joke. What what is this? Who are oh, you? I get to, who am I? I'm gonna be this one. How do I? Um. Oh. Cool. I like that. Zoe. She. Okay. Now you get to pick one. Um. I want to be the cat. Oh. The cat. I can't I pick the cat. You oh, can't. Oh, DLC. It's, it's downloadable. Um, I didn't download the cat. I see, I see. Um, This one has a little fun thing on. My mom likes cat it's girls, not. guys. No, I don't. No, no, no. Don't say those. Nope, nope. She's, she's, um, cat girls are a myst mysterious and terrifying beast. Um, I like uh, cat girls, mom. Okay, you need to be careful around them. Um, uh, I mean, they don't exist. Okay, um. Uh, I guess I'll choose her. She has a very nice dress. Um, Vicky. Okay, I'll, I'll be Vicky. Okay. There we go, there we go. Vicky. Uh... 
How about lo lo fi? Oh, I picked the oh, other oh. one. Ah, it's fine. Oh, Maybe I didn't realize wait, did I was you able pick to pick it? it. I didn't. I didn't realize I was no, able no, to. No, no, it's fine, Mom. You picked the song. You're driving. I don't know what I picked. You know, um, I'm. You know, I'm not driving. Uh, that's true. You should not be driving. It's it's a very. I'm perfectly fine driving. I don't want I don't you to have a life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you'll get it in what due time. What is your opinion on squid monsters in Japanese cartoons, Mom? Um, what do you think about tentacles? Uh, with my with my line of research and job, I have um, unfortunately had to see what the general populace thinks of this uh, specific phenomenon, and I think um. I think that there's a lot of... I'll tell you when you're older. Okay. Okay, fine. You better not be talking to her about that here. <sighs> Don't mm -hmm. talk to me about tentacles, guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. You better not be. I'm watching <laughs> you now. I'm She's gonna, gonna learn, learn so me. much when I grow up. Uh, uh, yep, okay. I nope. can't wait for mom to tell me all about it. Oh gosh, it's. Yep. So, Yuri, yes, tentacles. No. What are you. No, okay, um, let's let's play this beautiful <laughs> video game. Uh, the, it was yeah, the road it's your, trip. It's your turn. A, yeah, was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyways? F yes. For in the end, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Yay! We're we're going. Where are we going? I don't know. Um, Can we go to Disney World. By all means, if you could find it on this map. I, I don't know about going out there without our um your babysitters, but um uh, Steve would take me to Disney World. Steve is not going to be taking you to Disney World. Steve would take you to Disney World, and that's the problem. Okay. Anyway. Mm, okay. Okay. It looks like okay. I gotta pick a place. We have a. Do you want to? We could go to the diner or a gas station. A future di, di Let's go to this Doom's Diner. That sounds like we could find Ooh. some interesting people there. That does sound fun. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've seen that cactus before. What? Oh. I don't know what that means. Do you know any famous cacti? I didn't. I wasn't aware there were any famous cacti to begin with. Um. Dang. Are you read about this diner in a... What the heck is a list... Mom, what's a listicle? Um... Um... That sounds... That sounds weird. When a, when a man and a woman love each other very much, <laughs> um... Sometimes... Oh, a certain that. part okay. of a man's body is involved in... Okay, yeah, um... We can just go ahead, sweetie. Top 10 most cursed restaurant. We're going to a cursed restaurant. I love curses. Mm-hmm. That took a challenge. Seriously, after all the dark magic you've messed with over the years, you think you can... I, yeah, I love dark magic. Oh, that's not good. What are we going to do? Uh, what's he saying? I've been meaning to ask you, how do you road trip? Yeah, is this just a tutorial? Oh. It is. This is teaching us how to play the game. Okay, well, we don't need that. We're, we're good at video games, aren't we, sweetie? We're so good at video games. Yeah, you play so many of them. I'm, I'm sure you're very good at them. Yeah, like Monster Hunter. It's very fun. I don't know about hunting monsters. That's just, that seems a little, but, but yeah, very good, very good. But... Oh, if one of these stats go to zero, we lose. Okay. Okay. So we gotta reach, what, six destinations? <sighs> okay. We can learn this later. I, I, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go for it. Yeah, I think we can keep, do this. I think we can do this. Okay. Yes, keep our resources above zero. Okay, so what do we want to do? Um, let's look for a booth. Maybe we can find a cute, a cute, hmm? a cute place to sit. Yeah, that's very nice, sweetie. Of course. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you there and your friends enter the diner. Your heart is full of hope. And if this meal goes your way, it'll soon be full of cholesterol, too. <gasps> uh, look at that guy. He looks Whoa. diseased. What? He looks, he looks so cool. Hmm? 
I, is that your type? I, I don't. I don't know. Sweetie, that but, man is dying from a dysentery disease. That is not your type. But I, uh, listen, he. I bet he's got a really sensitive side to him, and a, and a big heart. It's not your business to be looking into that big heart of his. You're gonna no. Oh my god, what? no. We could probably go to like a goth concert together. And I like, you, like, you know? Concert? No, goth yeah. concert. God, no. Sweetie, no. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. He's, he's covered in demons or ghosts or like her hellish like creatures. I that love is demons not... and ghosts. So. Oh my goodness. No, sweetie. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh God. Welcome to <laughs> Doom's Diner. Where we've been in the business of misery since 1950. This place has been oh, this is old. This has been a long, open a long time. One group size booth. Oh, we're all sitting together. Why would that three bottles of ketchup? That's a lot. Wait, he, I like ketchup as my appetizer, and Polly keeps the rest in plastic baggies to throw at cars on the highway. Ugh, I love Polly. Polly is great. No, Polly. <sighs> She's gonna get you put into a prison or something, sweetie. You can't. Okay. It's okay, you'll get me out. Uh, it's fine. It's just a little fun. Okay. Nothing wrong with a little ketchup bomb on somebody's windshield. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. How it's fine. How did this happen to you? I thought you'd like very, you know, sophisticated, elegant young woman. Like, you know, some. I mean, some... yeah, I am. You are, but, but like, I I can get down with Polly. We can go get in. We can have all kinds of fun. What are you talking about? Oh my goodness gracious, sweetie! No, no, no! I want you staying away from this Polly girl, uh, and especially this Gerard fellow. Dear Lord! Oh, come on! Look at him. Look, he he's so he's so happy to be working here. He said, "As dead as a Morgan here." That's kind of funny. Oh, she's talking, she's talking, Polly's talking to me. Zoe, are you crazy? We can't just pick any old booth like that. Picking a diner booth is massively important. You gotta think about jukebox proximity, drafts in the building, lingering bad vibes. Like that time coach said, oh, look at this coach. He looks like breakfast cereal. That's funny. If you ever find yourself in someone else's flashback, make sure to be of assistance by providing a wise and useful piece of advice. Cool. Wait, what? Are we gonna find a place to sit or what? This place is cursed. It's just endless. Empty booths. Why don't we just pick one? Come on, kids. They're, they're being get, very... What? Yeah. We got lost. We got lost. I know when I'm beat, but let's be adults here and avoid looking for someone to blame. Polly. What? It's Polly's fault. The important thing here is being the person to thank once you lead your friends out of the diner. Okay, I gotta make a choice. What? What? Hire a diner Sherpa to guide us. Oh, burn me, or sweet. Burn make me. a blood sacrifice to the diner god for assistance. I think um, I know what I'm gonna do. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna make a blood sacrifice, mom. Sweetie, I think you're. It's too late, sweetie. I did it. You stabbed yourself in the leg? I don't... Yeah. I guess I did. Sweet sacrificial blood. Coyote blood. It's, a pre it's at a premium for these sort of things, you know? I... I don't like what these video games are teaching you. <gasps> It's cool. It's not real. I've never done anything like that before. Okay, okay. I promise. All right. I can tell when you're lying to me, and I think I think you're I think you're okay. No, all right. No. Okay, great. <laughs> you seriously mm -hmm. need to stop solving all your problems with blood sacrifices. You can mm -hmm. only offer so much blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. I like when she does the mm -hmm. chanting part, though. It's sort of soothing. What? I, I was chanting. What do you think I was chanting? You have to chant for blood sacrifices. Um. Hmm. It's like when Probably. you take me to the vet. Oh. Uh, right. 
We take you to a um a human doctor, not the vet. We take you to a human doctor for humans and children, uh, a pediatric doctor. Mom, how come how come I have to wear a blindfold and then there's a bunch of like people mumbling and there's candles and stuff everywhere when I, we go to the vet? We take you to a very qualified pediatrician that's ahead of his time in terms of what they, um... Oh, is it like, holis- is, is he like a holistic doctor? Is it that's like new way. age stuff? Yeah, oh, that's okay. one way, would not it? Yeah. That's fair. Okay, Thanks yeah. for clearing that up. <laughs> okay, yep, yep, you know, it's fine. Yep, holistic doctors, yep, okay. <gasps> okay. Wait, they didn't appreciate my sacrifice. This is rude. Hmm. The diner god is rude. I don't like the diner god anymore. What's happening? Why are you bleeding everywhere? You're not allowed to bring outside blood in. We're trying to run a business here. <gasps> the di- wait. Is Gerard the diner god? Now I'm really interested. I want to know uh, more. Uh, that, okay, you do not want to get involved with that type of... <sighs> D- this Are is you okay. sure? But look, he 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 likes the place clean. Maybe he could clean the place up. Maybe he could clean up the the cult club room. I I just I, don't. <laughs> He's I, gonna give us free burgers, mom. I oh goodness. Okay. Um. You gonna eat one? I'm I'm not going to. He looks like he has an illness. Um. Uh, what's That's going more on? for me then. <laughs> Hi. Please stay away from that young man. At least we can leave the diner. Okay. Okay. We leave, that... we left him behind. Um a national park or a a wig museum? What? I wonder if they have a hat for my head at the wig museum. Uh um uh that might be a good idea. The real curse of that driver was the nasty re- or that diner was the nasty restroom. Ew. See, you don't want to get involved. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I'm sure it wasn't that bad, Mom. The man working there was incredibly diseased. You could- uh, anyways, um, wigs of every color, shape, and style from afro to updo are on display here. You never knew there was such a rich history to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to... Uh, I'm not gonna listen to these guys tell me what to do here. I don't like being told what to do. Um... That sounds... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. You should... When this kind of situation... You're, you'd, you're the boss. Mm-hmm. I don't have time for these teenagers to tell me about signs. And, oh, uh, okay. I don't know what I selected there. Oh, no! Um, you, Polly, and Scott enjoy wandering around the magical wigs of the fabulous exhibition for all of four minutes. Okay, I'm a little tired of staring at these wigs. Let's try some on. Please do not try on the wigs, ma'am, says an employee, or I'll be forced to call security. What's the point of being here? We can't try them on. Can we at least eat them? I'm hungry. And the big powdered what? wigs look like cotton candy. You should not be hanging out with these people. We, you, it's too late. We're already on a road trip. We are stuck oh, on no. the, out on the on the road. Sweetie, you should hang out with nice young humans. I mean, you are a nice young human, so you should... Um, if you eat the wigs, I'll definitely need to call security. What about this wig here? The sign says, Arcane power is incomprehensible to any mortal. Um, not mortal anymore, so let me comprehend them. The employee sighs and clicks a button in his pocket, and all you are forcibly carried to the next room by security guards. This sucks. Vicky, how the hell are we supposed to have fun here if we can't touch stuff, eat stuff, or- She is cursing! She's using curse words! F around with forbidden magic. My head's covering up the curse word, isn't that funny? That's, that's good, sweetie. You're very smart. Great question, we don't know much about how fun. I covered fun. up the fuck yeah. words. <laughs> um which one is whoa the, the one you want to talk to out of these two no um, you're you're talking to them aren't you it's you you're talking to them 
Oh, I don't like either of them. They both seem very suspect. This this man's some sort of water moat in the desert, and this one is just, um, I don't trust skeletons. Let's see, um... I uh, could make a lot of really, really interesting jokes for both of these gentlemen right now. Please, please go ahead, sweetie. You're very creative. Are you go sure? for it. Yeah, absolutely. Nah, I better not. I, I'm too embarrassed. Oh, no. Do you want me to but cover the, my the ears? One, the the, the, the <laughs> It's... It, the, I like the one on the right, because he's all wet. I will just say that. That's nice, sweetie. It's the desert, so you would be very cool if you hung around this young man. He'd start and to he evaporate. Also looks, he, looks, he looks fancy and, like, distinguished. He does. He does. He looks very fancy. He looks like he makes a lot of important deals. He does. But people can wear all kinds of clothes to fool you. This person looks like they're a nerd. That's true. Mm-hmm. They, they do, but they're also wearing a bunch of wigs. Which one do you think looks more trustworthy if you had to pick one or the other? I wouldn't trust that boner over there. I would trust the other guy. Okay, let's go with him then. Let's see if this pays off for you. What did you call him? Uh, said... A bonehead. I called him a bonehead. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a tizzy today. Said gentleman moves closer to you, casually eavesdropping and fiddling with his attache case. I look heisty. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I guess we misjudged you. Sorry about... Heisty. Okay, you caught heisty. me. I'm here to heist and steal the magic wigs in the exhibition. Now that you know, do you want to join my heist crew? Sure. Gentleman takes you outside to a black van parked out front. He opens the back doors to reveal a bunch of people inside. What? This big fella here is Tony Macaroni? Tony. Are... Tony Macaroni. Um, <laughs> so, uh, sweetie, it looks like you accidentally ran into a con man and now he's going to ask you to help rob someone. Um, that sounds not fun. What, not what you probably wanted to do, I assume. Well, I'm not doing it. You're doing it. Oh, God. Um, there's Miss Pierre, codename Hard Drive, hacker of our getaway driver, small team. This is horrible. I didn't want to do this. I want you a pick. criminal. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. No, 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 no. Sweetie, this, I'm doing this so you can see what you're not supposed to. Okay. Jewels of our collection. Lead, lead by example. Hour. Nope, no, don't, don't follow my example. Don't do this, okay? Um, Mama Mote is not a, Mama Yote is not a criminal. Don't, don't start saying that. Solid team, bro. Okay. Mysterious <laughs> part. Uh... No. Lit. I'm being distraction. Okay. Um, it looks like they're about to start. Oh, you lost <gasps> soul and gained magic. Magical. What? What do you? What if I went out dressed like Polly? You would not. Um, but what if? What if I did though? You know, I think, um, I think I know which one I want. You'd have to have ten babysitters, okay? Ten of them. They'd encircle ten? you like a little... They'd completely encircle you. Would not be viewable to anyone outside. Ten babysitters. And you can dress like that. How about ten? that? That's it's just so many. <sighs> well, you need to. Y young lady, there's a lot of very scary and weird people out there. Why am I not dressed in my school clothes? Because this is a special occasion. I want to look nice mm -hmm. for my mom. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sweetie. And now we're going to go to the lake because I want to get wet. All right. Mm, Said, let's nothing. all get wet. That sounds like a great time. Oh, wait. Oh, no. The car stopped. I'm getting dizzy huh? watching our resources go up and down. What is this about? We're doomed. Put something on the radio. We may fuck up this road trip, but at least we fuck it up while having some fun. You, um, they are, mm, that's, uh, I guess you're reading it, but. Uh, yeah, uh, that can't, it can't be helped, Mom, I'm sorry. All right, it's like when you read, um, one of them old, important books, that's fine. <laughs> yes, one of them old books that has really, you know, problematic things in them, but because, of, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Lit, lit, literary, literature. The, the high value lit I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It's it's okay. It's literature, sweetie. You just but I'm not very happy about that. You need to okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this weird thing talking? What is this? 
What is oh. this thing? Have oh, you seen see. one of these before? Oh, that hmm. looks like a that looks like an imp. I would have never have seen one of those things before in all of my life because I work a normal job where I make normal money, um, and it, it normal. It, but what's, this is a what's terrifying your favorite creature. part of your job, mom? Um, hmm. Well, now that I think about it, probably getting to explore the unknown in a way that most people don't get to. It's a very, it's very interesting to research wow. things that uh, are completely normal to everyone in the world and everyone already has some uh, consistent understanding of. Anyway, um, go ahead, sweetie. What's the, 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 the which one of so, these are you currently in attracted to? Oh, the one on the left. Okay, that's not She's, good. she's fun. She's exciting. Oh, God. Anyway, we our car broke down, and now we have we have we had a I don't know. It said something about fixing something with magic. I don't know. I think we're. But fine. now we're at the lake. On a hot, hmm. sunny day like this, a lake visit is a perfect way to beat the heat. <gasps> Beach episode, hmm. maybe. Bikini time, maybe. No, 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 no. Uh, what? You've never worn a bikini on here, right? Lick, going to the lake is the perfect excuse to see your hot friends in swimsuits. Don't you agree, you, Mom? You've never worn a bikini on here, right? Like, that top is already a little... Okay, sorry. You, you look very lovely today. Um, I've never been in, I've never been in a bi bikini on, on, on my show. Don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. It's just I suddenly got a little concerned when you started talking about these bikinis just so simply and easily. Okay, all right, okay. When, when when can we go to the beach, Mom? Never now. Um, I mean, maybe in the future, what? sweetie. We can we but can go have a nice bikini time. Little... No bikini, sweetie. No, 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 no. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, fine. I, you, you have a beautiful figure, but what um... if we brought more? What if we had, you know, babysitters? We'd need at least thirty of them, and I, I, they wow, would have to be young women too. Jeez. Oh, that I don't know. Makes it even better. If a single I mean, man looked at you with, like, such impure thoughts, like, I would... Okay, sorry. Um, What would you want to do with the lake, sweetie? I want to build a sand castle. <gasps> that sounds really fun. It is. Look, we're having fun building castles. When you notice the sandy abodes have acquired some new... Wait. Bros, look. Those hermit crabs are... Oh, we built a sand castle for hermit crabs. That's nice. Wait, are huh? these the hermit crabs? <laughs> That's dope. We have king and queen crabs now. You guys are like the kingmakers of the lake. Yup, and check out the king's brother sharpening that shell shard into a spear. Regicide? Wait, what? That's messed up. Oh, it's Wanda and Stu. What are you doing at the lake? Ah, oh, fuck. What are we doing here? Aren't you lifeguards? Oh yeah, good catch. That explains the rescue floaties in this whistle and why swims it says lifeguard. Oh, they're one of those people. And that reminds me, it's the lifeguards. We gotta check to make sure your sandcastles don't have any OSHA violations. Is my room, is my room OSHA compliant, Mom? No, probably not. I need to, um, but no, absolutely. 100%. I, we're, we're gonna make sure it is, don't worry. <gasps> I can tell you already that these castles aren't up to code at all. Bummer, dudes. We'll be back with the paperwork to condemn them. They're gonna kick down our sand castles. We have to do oh, something. That's horrible. A bunch of bullies. If they condemn our sand castles, King and Queen Snippy won't have a place to call home. There's gotta be a way to get the castles up to code before the lifeguards return. Oh, what? Okay, what are, what are our choices? You may have to replace the sand with another material. Hmm. What? It didn't... What? You probably have to ditch the murder plaza. Chances are the murder plaza is the least safe part of the sand castle. I like the murder plaza, though. That sounds like fun. I... Oh, uh, you had to give the crabs money? Oh, we had to buy concrete. We made the what? sand castles into real castles. Oh. That's funny. Wait a sec, Stu, something's different about their sandcastle. Are you admiring the marble balconies with which King Snippy can address his devoted subjects? Or are you more into the Romanesque support columns in the throne room, which stabilize the castle and look super kick-ass? 
you like where I wrote Scott thinks you're super cool in this wall before the cement dried? Hey, Mom, have you seen the rat in Chicago? The rat hole in the cement? Have you seen it? They have. Worshiping can we idols go, and false gods. Can we go gods. see it? You know what? Can we, can we go see it? Is I that what light... you... What? what are you going to do there? Light a very normal candle and say some very normal words. Are you trying to summon the rat back from the dead, sweetie? No. <laughs> That's are you... silly. Mm? Are that you would trying be to use... so silly. Are you trying to use the prayers and overwhelming just energy that people have committed to that rat in terms of idolicism to bring him back as a small god, sweetie? <laughs> That's silly. That's not real. No way. Hmm? I would never. I All have right. never. I've never done right. anything like that before. Okay, you know what? I think it'd be a fun road trip. We can do that at some point, but mm, I'm gonna watch you for candles. Don't take the candles out of my room again. <sighs> Sweetie. No. Oh. It, it looks like we've redefined what a sandcastle can be. Mom, we're so good at sandcastling. Yeah, at that point, it's a little house for the little crabs. And it's OSHA compliant. That's way mm -hmm. cool. Sounds more like an art piece than a building now anyway, so it's un not under our jurisdiction to judge it. Cool. <gasps> Two minds. Wow. I did a oh, yeah. smart thing. That's great. You did. Okay. Um. Business summit. Join capitalism's finest. Okay. Fortune that teller. Like work. That I sounds like fun. This location and your future. Okay. Which ones? Looks like we get more money here. Over here, we can get some. We might lose our soul. This one has a. One that we don't understand. Unknown. Money, money, unknown. This one, we could get money, we could lose money, or we could lose our soul. Uh, oh, these young women are over here, too, on this I rock. Like, I like, oh, I like that. Okay, do you want to go to the, you want to go to the fortune teller? I mean, it's up to you, Mom. Okay, well, it looks like it's if we go turn. this way, we can see some horses. That's kind of fun. Horses? What's this one? I guess that sounds fun. Destination. Okay. Um, we'll go to the fortune teller. <gasps> Thanks, mom. Oh, I, I can't wait. I know you like the spooky stuff. Is fortune telling real or is it all bogus? Only one way to find out. The psychic who runs this caravan has a sign posted outside with the different services she offers. There are so many different ways to glimpse the future. What do you want to do? Okay. Um, hmm. What do you think is the best one, sweetie? Palm I like reading? tarot cards, but, tarot seance, cards? but seance is also cool because it has ghosts. Okay, if you had to choose between the two, which one would it be? Let's do a tarot reading. Okay, let's do that. Well, you've always liked birthday cards and playing cards. Why not try your luck with fortune telling cards too? Welcome to Hope Hawko's Tent of Great Beyond. If you want Ooh. your... Take a seat and shuffle the tarot deck. Vicky, we'll start with you. What we'll... do you think about Vicky? Vicky, is she the one I'm playing as, or? Um... Oh, you're Vicky, the lady that's talking. <laughs> oh, oh, this one, the... the tarot card, the fortune teller. <laughs> oh, she looks cute. She looks, she looks like she's incredibly evil, though. Is that is that your type? Don't stay away from girls like that. They'll they'll cause you misery and untold grief. The but. Untold, but, untold grief. You have terrible taste in men and women. This is terrifying. This is this is a mother's worst nightmare. You take after your father in that regard in terms of just not having any sense about people or who to trip. Okay, we'll start with you. But she's cute, mom. And she has glowing red eyes and a smirk that betrays her innermost thoughts of violence. I know, that's my favorite. Oh. Okay. We'll do a three-card spread with a card to represent your past, present, and future. I should have gone to the business summit. Your past card is the Hanged Man. It's a card depicting a tragic fool. It represents your journey so far, a series of misadventures where you tend to make the wrong choices. Yikes. But tragic fool could totally be your middle name, to be fair. Your present card is Justice. This card represents an unusually high... And no, it does not! 
Mom, Enterprising really? libido. No, 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 this is, this is a, this is bad. Th oh my God. No, this, no, no, no. Nice clip. No, oh my God. Your friend is being quite rude. Okay, this is, you didn't let me finish. It represents that in the upright position. See? Okay. But it was drawn upside down, which me inverts its meaning. It means, okay, that's not, okay, <laughs> let's, let's just, um, she should, okay, okay, all right, okay. Uh, tarot cards are kind of reading, reading are up to you. Why don't you try making your own destiny? That's nice. I have some better cards in my pockets. Don't ask, swap out the future card with one of these. It seems to, oh. it seems to mean, okay, they're going to rig the tarot reading. If she's really psychic, then she should have seen the switcheroo coming. Pick a card. Are okay. you going to switcheroo? Oh my gosh. Just like one of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you keep taking away when I'm bad, mommy. Yeah, but y only when you're bad. You've been very okay-ish lately. Okay, um... Uh... W which one should I pick? Do you want the Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you want the draw four? Or do you want the random dude with cool sunglasses? I don't know. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, but like, draw four is kind of funny. What do, mm. what do you think? What do you let's, think, Let's Mom? pick your Yu-Gi-Oh card. I, I do remember what this... This one looks a little different, though. Was it always so cute? Okay. Oh, it does. That one has. Yeah, he was, he's always that cute. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm misremembering. But for your future, we have the legendary blue eyed white dragon card in mint condition. These cards are quite rare. They're used by ancient kings and their court magicians to bring wealth and prosperity into their kingdom for centuries. I think the kings also use these cards to battle each other in the shadow games or something. I don't know what that's. If that's treading too far into nerd territory for me. Anyways, there's money in your future, Vicky. Plus <gasps> two money to be precise. Money making. Uh. Oh, they planted the cards, so we got some more money, which is good. Okay, make it up to me by selling the dumb <laughs> card. Okay, that's fair. Um. What? Oh, she no! ripped it in half. Why would it do what? No. That's that's crazy. Why, Why would you do this? Their faces became so different. <laughs> uh, it was too dangerous <laughs> to even exist. Empires, entire emperors, empires have fallen due to the incredible nerdy power of this wicked card yields. Um. Well, I like to join in when people scream dramatically. It's fun. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, the power was fun while it lasted. You lose two soul for rigging oh, the reading. No! We need more soul. You yeah, only have that's... six. Time to go to six. a rest. Oh. Okay. Oh, a rest stop. Oh. Finally a place to rest. Even this spectral booty needs to do some sitting after so much shaking. <laughs> <sighs> The guide says there are several rest stops like this one. We should be able to reach one like once a week after visiting four locations or so. That sounds good. Let's go chill on those benches, Scott. As your friends mm. leave, you realize you don't want to rest because you're utterly addicted to making choices all the time and this rest stop is no different. You quickly assess the many five things you can check out around here. But beware, the exception of the car, each choice can only accommodate one player. Oh yeah, I know what this is, but I know what's going on now. Hi, okay. Uh... Sort of. Boop, boop, boop. Well, they're Noodle sitting stand. at the thing. Bus okay. stop. Why would I sit at the bus stop? I'm going to sit over here with the... Um... You're going to go talk to your friends. That's good. Just be careful. Okay, what are you going to do? Hmm. Oh, I can choose too? Yeah, you get to choose a thing too. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I can choose anything. Let's see. Info. I can look at what we can do in the future. Uh, the bus stop looks very relaxing. I wouldn't want to eat this. Um, they could just hang out in the car. Um, you I don't will like noodles. Info. You don't like nudes. Um, we we should refer to them slightly differently than. Um, this is the map <laughs> info board where you can do two things. You can check. A map that shows three potential locations nearby. Choose a location to learn how to get there. This guarantees that that location will appear on your next turn. On the other hand, you can use the phone to call hitchhikers. When you visit the bus stop next week, the hitchhiker you called will be there. 
These two options are cool. about taking an extra step to secure an outcome you want, be it a location or a hitchhiker. Um, we can get more buddies for you to talk to. Maybe they'll be a little better than that ghost or that werewolf, I think, is what it does. Maybe. maybe. Or we can pick a location. What would you prefer? I, I mean, I like talking to people. Okay, let's, let's, but that's let's me. See. Look oh, at all these wow. people to choose from. Wow. The lamb? That's strange. The lamb? That's, oh, thank that's cult, that's cult stuff. It's a cult. Thank it's a cult thing, Mom. Okay. I, um, I don't think we should go with this lamb, then. And, um, that terrifying man from the diner, that unfortunately was... They're, they're not here, thank God. Um, which one of these is your, is your favorite out of the I little like Pokemon? I like Aravi. This one? Uh-huh. We'll, we'll give, we'll give she's, him or her a call. She's, like, possessed. Oh, God, okay, well, you could have said that a second earlier, sweetie, I don't know. Nuh -uh. Okay. Nuh-uh. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the benches where you can relax with either Polly or Scott. Okay, this is your turn now, sweetie. The conversations you can hold with them are a chill narrative treat with no choices to be made. Oh, okay. If you have enough conversations, you might score a date. Oh. A date. A date with one of them. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> also, by having a conversation with Polly or Scott, you'll activate the chaotic, chaotic energy. Passive mm. effect, which will remain active. This is great. This sounds exactly what I like. Oh, no. Are you, you, what, you, oh, yeah. You don't like chaos. Oh, I it's just... It's so fun. It's so fun. What are you talking I about? Just, I just think it's a little... You're a little young to be thinking about dating one of these... And, and a terrifying monster person. You're just... Okay, oh, look at well. her. She's so cute. <sighs> and look, and look. If we hang out... If we hang out with them, our resources, uh, gains and losses are increased by one. Oh, God. Okay. Well, That's go ahead, great. sweetie. It's just hang a video out with game. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a game. Oh, our my toilet God. Toilet wine. Oh, my talk. God. Okay. I want to talk about cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't That's worry, good. Mom. Good I don't need to know about all that. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. I've been looking into cooking. Tasty. It meshes two of my favorite things, chemistry, which rocks, and little momentous joys. Like how dumb it is, is it to spend hours making something that's gone and in blink in a couple mouthfuls. It's so incredibly inefficient that it becomes simply beautiful. She's a ghost, though. Do ghosts even eat stuff? I know Emmy doesn't eat stuff. Uh, maybe it's, um, maybe she's a half ghost or ghost on a... That doesn't make much sense. <gasps> you know what? You might be onto something. How do you know so much about this, Mom? Uh, I I think it's very fun and try to have, um, uh, uh, I try to connect with my beautiful daughter in the, in the ways that you should as a mother. And she has a great fascination with ghosts and, um, things that she's not associated with, like this weird tentacle monster with eyes and, um, all that sort of, don't, yeah, anyways, I have nothing to do continue. with that stuff. That's you so true. Nothing. That's it's so, so true. true. Yes. You're just a nice young woman. And now there that I go. don't even <laughs> need to eat my hobby, oh, she doesn't eat. Okay. But she cooks anyway. That's kind of that's kind of neat, actually. That's novel. Yeah, she does it for others. That's very sweet. I started taking some cooking classes. Vera takes them too. I love that wonderful. <laughs> I love that wonderful bitch. But she could use an education on beautiful inefficiency. Indeed. I think it's healthy for her, even if the classes stretch her out most of the time. We sit there, we learn, and we experiment. That's what I love about chemistry and cooking. It's transformative. But like, literally, it's all about transformation. You you transform things into other things, like how you can transform eggs, flour, and butter, and some other stuff, into a cake. <gasps> or how flesh, blood, bones, and some other stuff transformed into me. But yeah, I think the afterlife gives you some new cool perspectives, and I think cooking rules. Maybe one day I could cook something for you, if you dare. Ooh. That's very nice. Um, oh, that's all the time we have? Okay. Uh. Oh, you, you, wait, what? Destination progress. 
Uh, so okay, my Okay, I mind. see what's going on. We're, we're in trouble with Soul, though. It's a fix. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not good. But we can, we can make it back. I think we're, I think we're capable. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah, it's your turn, Mom. Okay. Um, Simon Soups. It's a super special place. Cave. Someone said spelunking. Be sure to bring your sp spelunk crown. Oh, we can get soul here. Okay, we should probably go like here caves. then. Yeah, I, let's go to the I cave. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Time to penetrate a deep dark hole. That's what that's what Polly said. I didn't say that. Polly said that. Okay, sweetie, you can't say everything your friend Polly says, I guess. Um. Uh, okay. Um. What could be inside this dank dark cave? Gold and jewels, an abandoned mine shaft, dinosaur bones, an ancient civilization that's yet to be uncovered. I mean, all those things are hella unlikely. It's almost definitely just a bunch of bats and rocks in there. But you won't know that for sure until you explore the cave. What are you going to do here? Um, huh? Uh, I don't know. Event type sign. Ooh. Uh, sign means quantitative events. They work a lot like exchange events. Okay, you aren't gonna... No, okay, so that just means we'll get more of this. Hopefully it's the soul one. That would be great. <laughs> oh, it's not. Uh, but we could get something random. Hmm. Rescue trapped people? We need to do that. That's horrifying. Yeah, let's be heroes. Here we go. We'll get our soul back. This is fine. You, Polly, and Scott are hiking around the cave looking at cool stalagmites and bats when you hear voices coming from a far off chamber. Okay. Whoa, bros, there are people in here, and they're chained to that wall. Your friend is very, um, sex positive, I'll say that much. Don't worry, everyone, we're going to save you and bring you back to the outside world. What are you talking about, the prisoners asked. We don't need saving, we like it here. This place has, there's a fire truck outside, I don't know if you can hear that. Oh no! The cave people in, that's not good. Okay, well... Wasn't about us. Okay, the cave people... Good. I don't know what you get up to, but now I'm very worried. Cave people nod at the wall opposite it them. It you... wasn't me. Well, I promise it wasn't me. It's... It, okay, and It wasn't see me the... this time. Oh, God. There's shadow puppets being projected on it. Look, the shadow doggy is back, and he's playing with the shadow bunny and the amorphous shadow blob. Best day ever. But those shadows aren't real. Let's unchain you, and we'll show you the outside world is more than shadow puppets. No, the prisoners yell. How dare you try to force us to expand our narrow world views? All right. The shadows are, they are talking always... talking about no. Plato? I guess so. Yeah, they you know, are, you're sweetie. Not, you're not supposed to eat that stuff. Almost. 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 Okay. Why would we abandon them when they're already happy and complacent here? Because learning the truth is worth overcoming your fear of the unknown. Darn it. Um, she has quite the mouth on her. Vicky... How do you talk to these people into leaving? Okay, build a bulletproof, irrefutable case to convince them that the outside world is full of much cooler shadows. <sighs> That's neat. It, it's time to incur some good old student debt and get a PhD in philosophy. PhD, um, huh? That sounds expensive. Let's try this one. Great idea. Time for a planning montage. A montage passes in front of you oh. guys reading books about shadows, ran a chalkboard, practicing your shadow puppets, doing chemistry for some reason. Uh-oh. You lose three mind. We had a lot, I guess, in the exhaustive research and planning, but finally you have an irrefutable case on the, why the prisoners should leave. Um, listen up, bros. We know what you think shadows are cool, but the shadows outside the cave are even cooler, so come with us. That's it? That's your whole argument? What about the montage? What about the chemistry bit? We're not convinced, says the prisoner. The shadows have already... here are pretty great. True, but get this. In the outside world, shadows are cool and interesting. They even have their own mascot. His name is Shadow the Hedgehog. He's... He's so hot. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's so popular, he has his own video game and lots of... lewd fetish art. I've oh, never seen pri any of that. That's good, sweetie. Thank God. That'll make you really weird. The prisoners say, well, we do love... Fetish stuff. Our second favorite thing to shadows is being chained to wall af chained to walls after all. Oh, okay, I knew it. I knew it was. You successfully free the prisoners, and they go outside to meet Shadow the Hedgehog. 
Unfortunately, they're completely blinded by Shadow's coolness, but all that matters is you gain three soul for the rescue. Okay. Heck yes, we did so well. You did we so good, Mom. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, God. A secret government lab? This looks familiar. No, it doesn't. Experimental prison. Do you want to go to somewhere I, that's not even like work at all? Or do you want to go to a prison? It's up to you, sweetie. I've never been to either of these. We have no familiarity with either of these. To everyone that's watching, we have no familiarity with either of these. Let's go okay? to prison, Mom. Let's go to why prison. Do you wanna, why do you want to go to prison? Okay. It'll be fun. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, just when you get in there, find the biggest, toughest person and fight them and knock them out. No. And then nobody, nobody will mess with you. Oh, God. Okay. Let's, um, look, your, your little buddies are talking. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Hey, Polly, look oh, what time no. it is. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Put the radio on, Zoe. Welcome back to Convenient Exposition. Mr. Thompson, Mr. McCarthy, what can you tell us about the mysterious resource known as stamina? Stamina's fuel for our bodies. Getting stamina up is simple. Eat stuff. Stay hydrated. Get some rest. I mean, that, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's very fair. That's true. It's important mm -hmm. since arduous activities such as exercising or having intercourse will eat up your stamina. Uh, I don't... Don't worry. There is, that's not in this game, right? I'm you... so healthy. I have so much stamina. Okay, dear Throw, God. Throwing your food away or using it in ways that don't involve eating it will also lower your stamina. Cormac, something you said about stamina reminded me of mine. It takes an experienced road tripper to differentiate how resting raises your stamina, but relaxing raises your mind. You're spot on, Hunter. A strong, relaxed mind can save you from succumbing to road madness. That sounds fun. What to this day is suspect as an ancient deity preying on mortal psyches. Oh, I wonder what they're like. Relaxing and finding enlightenment will keep your mind up, so will strengthening your brain by learning new things. But if you overtax your brain, you might actually risk lowering your mind. Anything that strains your brain can result in mind loss, from trying to comprehend the incomprehensible to getting in anxiety-inducing situations. You betcha, says the radio host, even thinking a lot for too long like myself after this very edifying rumination, which is why we'll stop this episode right here. Yay! Okay. Let's go well, to prison, Mom! On. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't think you'd like these types of places after, um... Nothing. At all. Um... I, yeah, nothing. I, yeah, nothing. Um... I've never been to prison. Uh... Or a facility of holding at any no, time. Nope, never. Nope. Your face okay. is a strange prison. I have no clue why you want to break into a prison as fun as... Re no, why would you want to break in? Breaking out is so much more fun. But it's yeah. safe to say that this place isn't your typical penitentiary. Maybe the morbid curiosity is getting to you. In any case, what are you hoping to find inside this prison? Deadly games? Maybe. What would... Impossible to make complex. How about deadly games? I like oh, deadly yes, games. Yes, okay. You all go to the prison entrance to inquire about a tour, but the security guards just beat you until you're unconscious. That's so rude. That, that is what would happen, though, yes. That's so rude. Oh, oh no, we got arrested, but in prison. <laughs> Uh, that is what would happen if you did this. Do not try to go to these types of... Well, um, what anyways. What happened? Did we go on a bender and I forgot? Sweet. Oh, she's so hot. I mean, she's so cool. Sweet, you guys are finally awake. Now we can solve this puzzle. What puzzle? Where are we, Dahlia? We're in the experimental prison. We were all kidnapped and put in here as a metaphor for how selfish monsters are or something dumb. That's mean. Why would oh, people God. do that? Why would that happen? <sighs> Imprisoning monsters. Can you believe something? That'd be crazy. That good would never happen. Not... Yeah, that would never happen. Not... Yeah. That would never that's... happen. I'm glad that's not real. That would never happen ever. Anyone that tries to even, this is stupid, this is stupid, none of this sort of stuff exists, and, um, nope. Tell Fiction your friends. Great. Tell your friends. Never would happen. Tell your friends. Go, te go text a co-worker or friend right now. All of you. 
In order to escape, we need to solve this puzzle. There are two doors in this room. One leads to freedom, the other leads to certain death. There's a guy guarding each door. <laughs> it's the... Ah! Uh, okay. One tells the truth and one tells a lie. <laughs> I know how to solve this riddle. We can ask a guard which the door the other guard would tell us to. Boring. Don't be a boring boob, Zoe. Let's add some spice to the situation. It's not often we get the opportunity to ask someone anything our hearts desire. We've literally always had that opportunity. Asking people stuff is free. Yeah, but now we got added stakes to the situation, and the stakes are meaningless to me because I'm already dead, so let's just have fun with it. Okay. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> She's going to get you killed, Um, but sh okay. But Scott, Dolly, and I aren't dead yet, and we'd um, really like to stay that way. Mm-hmm. I'd like to see them try to kill me. Worst case scenario, I just get another cool scar out of this. My understanding of mortality is shaky at best, so I'd rather do this Polly's way. Dang, peer pressure is your greatest weakness. Guess you can worry about not dying later. It's funny question time. Nice. Let's fight fire with fire. If these guards wanted to mind fuck us with this riddle, let's ask them a mind fucky question to get back at them. Um. Emotional warfare. <sighs> guard of the left door. Is it true that you've developed secret feelings for guard of the right door? <laughs> oh my. Funny. Homo warfare. Guards, now that we're all good friends, I thought about renting quads for all of us. Want to join us for a day of thrills, fun, and quads? I like oh, the first one. I like I the want, first like. one, too. The I want to see how this great. develops. Oh, nasty. We're definitely going to uh, lose. Oh. Three, oh, we lost three soul for playing dirty. But fuck it. I want to see what they say. <gasps> you strolled up, <laughs> you strolled up to the first guard and asked him your question. Well, I... I don't know what you mean, he says, sweating. We're co-workers, and office romances are usually bad news, and... Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't tell a lie. It's true, I'm hopelessly in love with guard number two. Oh. After years of working together, all the nice conversations, I couldn't help catching feelings, and we have so much in common. We both guard doors. Oh, my. You really love me? Guard two grass gasps. Guard one, I... I, I don't feel the same. What? How could you break his heart so casually, bro? This is so dramatic. There's so much drama right here. This is this is incredible. Guard one looks like he might cry, but then he realizes, wait, but you always lie, don't you? Does that mean you do feel the same? Guard two winks roguishly. I don't know. Guard one, why don't you come over here and find out? Holy shit, holy shit, they're hardcore making out. Mom, they're making out. Okay, just cover your eyes, sweetie, but that's good for them. Good for them. <laughs> what a twist here. I thought we were in a deadly game genre scenario when it was actually a rom-com all along. But the guard's distracted. You can easily check both doors. You find the right exit and leave unharmed. I'm happy we left safely, but I'm even happier those guards found true love. That's so true nice. That. It is nice. How lovely. Though he's a master riddle solver and matchmaker. <clears throat> Total package. Yeah, Polly's great. I love Polly. Okay. We got, we um, got three hype, Mom. We we did, um, but our souls are dying, so we need to figure that out. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know which one. Um, I don't know which one will get us souls. We can LARP or we can go to the hole. Who needs souls when you got holes? Let's go to the LARP, then. Okay, what is the LARP? Um, Fine. But uh, 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 yeah, I don't know about that, that one. Okay. But we did prison break. That was a very nice one, too. It was not full of bloodshed and overwhelming regret and uh, terrifying It was actually guilt. romantic and sweet. It was very sweet, yes. Oh. Uh, this LARP is crawling with humans. Real, actual humans. That's weird. This must be one of those areas where the dimensional fabric between human and monster realms is starting to tear. Strangely, the humans aren't screaming or grabbing pitchforks, which goes against all you know about their thoughts on monsters. They must think your fellow humans dressed up for a LARP. Fine by you, their ignorance is your bliss. Since you're here, what LARP activity are you interested in trying? Um... We won't know what we get out of the... Um... PvP, GM, or NPC? Um... NPC is the safest one, isn't it? We don't know what we'll lose or gain. Um... Uh, let's, let's, let's 
Let's hope that this just gives us some soul back. You're ready to that get your good. medieval... Yeah, this'll be fine, this'll be fine. Uh, we should play it safe. You need to buy tickets. The only cost... 75 bucks just to stand in the hot sun with wooden sword all day? God, nerds will pay for anything. If the tickets are too pricey for you, you could get in free if you fill some of our NPC slots that didn't show up today. Okay, the ticket seller offers. Okay. Holly, what's an NPC? A non-player character. They have no real autonomy and only exist to interact with the player characters and make the game interesting. Uh, Polly, are we NPCs? I try not to think about it. Oh god, they're getting sentient. Um, anyways, let's do this. Do you have any openings for sexy barmaid NPCs who occasionally drip liquor onto her lavish bosom? Dear lord, mom, this- Mom! This... Mom, oh. we need to go- we need to go to the library. We no, need we to know. go to the library. Oh, sweetie, 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 sweetie. Okay, um... Uh, you're- you're out Please. of nature. Uh, we'll, we'll go to a LARP, we'll go to a LARP, okay. We're just, um... We don't have anything like that. They don't have that, apparently. Okay, we can go to a LARP. Um, can I be an Abraham Lincoln NPC? I heard he had a cool hat. What? No, you gotta choose something off the available NPC list. What NPCs should we be? Um, okay. Random NPCs who sit in the same spot all day repeat the same sentence again and again when interact with. with. Sounds chill. Merchants who imprint arcane glyphs to imbue weapons with strange powers and give you sword an edge in battle. Wink. Um... Which one would you like to do, sweetie? Uh... I like the second one. Okay, the second one? There we go. Yeah. You, Paul... The first one would have been a little bit less dangerous, probably. Scott, set up your shop. Doesn't take long for players to arrive. Uh, they are little people. They're just people. Well-met merchants. What wares do you have for a gang of fearless adventurers? We got good... Crud. It, why does she curse so much? Magic, Scott, give him a glyph. Uh, I'll take a glyph that means a bonus to my performance skill. Do you have one that lets me cast fire spells? Nope, but I'll give you the best glyph I know. It's also the only one I know. Scott draws an arcane glyph on the vampire's dagger and magic marker. With this glyph, your dagger has acquired the powerful skill of Portuguese. Wait, what? Portuguese? <laughs> huh. Why would we want a dagger that speaks Portuguese? It doesn't speak Portuguese, silly. Weapons can't talk. It just understands Portuguese now. Huh. Okay, then. Do you have any upgrades for my sword? I I've got the weapon enhancing potion for you. Ooh, watch my alchemy at work. Polly pulls out a jar of mayonnaise and slathers the sword in a thick white goo- Oh, God! Hey, yo, oh. what? <laughs> your sword is imbued with the po potion of mayo. It gives your sword the power <laughs> to taste like mayonnaise. What's the point of that? Think of the joke potential next time you're in a duel. You'll be all like, taste my sword, villain, and they'll be all like, why the... does it taste like mayo? Classic. What? That'll be three money, you need to... Okay, we got money. They do not I'm thank dead. you, which sucks. And you spent three magic manifesting the glyph and producing that potion. Ungrateful humans. Well, that was, that was okay. Yeah, not great, but okay, it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh-uh. Okay, this one would give us more soul. We should it's go not here. a phase? Wait, what? What did that one say? The manor isn't just going through a phase, Mom. <laughs> it's How gothic. How are you going to be interested in this? Okay, but, but choose the one you like. Okay. I like this one because, well, you know, practicality. Oh, we need soul. Okay. Hmm. You know, like graveyards? Is, are they scary? They're fine. They're fine. Oh, no. We have another convenient exposition talking about something. It's our high level. Hype. I it's guess that's like, our highest. Laugh out loud. Doing thrill seeking stuff or going to town, if you know what I mean. Mm hmm. I like keeping oh. my hype strong and vigorous. <laughs> That's why I avoid all the stuff that will lower my hype, like doing boring stuff. Mingling with dull or annoying people or choosing mundane solutions over epic ones. Amen. Speaking of boring stuff, you know what else is boring? Being a good person. But oh sometimes you need to be if you want to keep your soul up. Ugh, yeah, why do we need to have souls anyway? At least soul is quite easy to manage. Doing good deeds, soul up. Being your worst self, soul down. Remember, kids, don't underestimate the power of helping strangers while you're on the road. You gotta keep your soul healthy and clean. Okay, that's nice. 
Nice. I don't know if you have a soul necessarily, but that's that's nice. Wait. I don't? No, no, not you, sweetie. Just the concept of sorry, I, I was just thinking oh. about stuff a little bit deeper after the graveyard. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's let's just uh, hooray, we're going. It's gonna be fun. Graveyard. Cool. Woo. There's solemn and quiet places made for reflection and paying respect to the dead. If you're a snooze fest, but you're with Polly and Scott, which means a graveyard is a perfect place to play a prank. Uh-oh. The only question is, what's the best prank to pull? Raise the dead? Spook people by posing as ghosts? Or crash a funeral? <sighs> crash a and funeral? Sorry, just a little bit concerned about that one. I want chat to read my mind for a second. There's a joke I want to make here. But for the sake of my mother, I will not make it. You but I'm still gonna do me. it. No. Of course. No, no, no. no. Go. You mm -mm. Can do, it. do you want me to do you want me to close my ears for a second? Just put my hands over them? I, I think I think they know what I'm gonna say. It's fine. Don't don't, uh -oh. don't worry about it, Mom. I don't wanna say stuff like that in front of you. Okay, okay, sweetie. It's just I want I know you're hanging out with your friends. Um I wanna hear mom freak out. I will not freak out. I will be very polite here. My mom doesn't freak out. I'm very hey, well buddy. trained. Mm -hmm. I know how to relax. It's okay. What do you do to relax, Mom? Um, I go to the gym. The gym's one of the best ways to relax. Keeping your body fit and healthy will help you feel better when life is very, very, very hard. Um, that's what I would recommend to all of you as well. Keep, keep fit. It's one of the things you need to do as you get older. I'm in I'm in my late thirties now, and I would not look this way nor feel this way if I hadn't been exercising when I was younger. I'll tell you that much. You need to. Those gym showers ain't relaxing. Do not shower at the gym. You drive home, you shower at home. Mm-hmm. You're so smart, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, but I'm sorry, your graveyard, sweetie. You're good. Raise the dead. Okay, that's not good. Uh, okay, you're all wandering around the graveyard when you hear gritty guitar riffs and a guy whine singing about how much he hates this town. <gasps> Are we about to meet some emo boys in the graveyard? That sounds awesome. Oh, you follow no. Follow the to Gerard! Not Gerard! this man! No, God, no. Gerard's oh, God. an necromancer lounging in the <sighs> grave, listening to music and drinking beer. Oh, look at him. He's, he's He just had a glow up. Look at him. Oh, your type is terrible. You have terrible oh, taste, sweetie. God, this man would kill you. He could try. I mean, I see <sighs> you found my secret hideout for the rare nights that I choose to do my brooding outdoors. That's cool. Graveyard drinking is a hobby of mine, too. I usually bump EDM, though. Really live livens up the place, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever. Could you take your bubbly attitude elsewhere? I'm busy drowning my dark and twisted thoughts in booze. Ah, damn, my beer's slightly out of my reach. <laughs> Just a sec. Laura Mipsum Dolor Sit Emmett. Uh oh. <laughs> Light flashes from Gerard's staff, then a zombie claws out of the dirt. It's rotting champ. Oh my god, he's a necromancer. Oh man. I'm in love. No! Brain threat. Could you just <sighs> hand me my beer there? It's to the left. No, my left. Yep, perfect. Good work, Thrall. Oh, your zombie's so cute. Like one of those old leathery chihuahuas you can't help but love. Can we name him Tickles? I had a hamster named Tickles once, but I accidentally ate him because I thought he was potato chip. Oh, God. No, you can't name him. You'll just get attached to him. Tickles is going right back in the ground once I finish my six pack. How can you give him a taste of life and then rip it all away like that? This isn't flowers for Algernon, you asshole. <laughs> what an obscure reference. <laughs> Why oh are you my so upset about this? It's just a zombie. They're usually just animated corpses with no personalities or free will. Hmm, let's test that. Hey, Tickles, if you have free will, say brains. Brains. See, total sentience. Tickles is in there. We just need something to draw that dazzling personality out of its shell. What do you suggest, Zoe? Brains is nice and useful, but you can help Tickles by teaching him a second essential word for his repertoire. Or this zombie is screaming brains, but you know what he's really asking for? A taxi license. What? Huh? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good job Let's right now. Let's do the first one. Let's do the first one. That feels like a good, that safe bet. 
Okay. <laughs> it sounds like we would harm people. I, 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 um... I never really thought about if these guys were sentient. That's not good. You never met a zombie and, like, had a nice time with them and, like, you know, played games together and maybe other stuff? No, I, I usually just shoot him if I come across him, sweetie. Like, I've never really thought that deeply on it. I don't think he can learn a second word here. Let's, let's find out. Is that what happened to Cheryl? No, no, no. Well, maybe. Hmm. Okay, well, huh. We'll, we'll talk about this later. I, I've never seen a zombie. That's silly. That zombies don't exist. Let's, um... Okay. Yeah. What's so this horrifying gonna... man that you are in love with saying? Let's... Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll talk after. We'll talk... They're fine. They're fine. Whatever... Your friends are fine, if that's... I don't know. They're... they're just shoot them. You're gonna try to teach a zombie to speak? Do you have any idea how long that pointless activity will take? Nope, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Time skip time. Oh, we're doing a time skip, all right. All the way to the post-apocalyptic year of thir What? 3088? That's crazy. Mitch Badassberg, America's most muscular super soldier and his elite strike force are gunning down zombies in Times Square. A zombie mm -hmm. tackles Mitch to the ground, opens its mouth, and lets out a taunting wail. Cowabunga! What the? Mitch says. General, did you hear that? Hear what, Sergeant Badassberg? All I can hear are zombies dying and machine guns firing. Cowabunga! Come on, General, you had to have heard at that time. The zombie is saying cowabunga! Who cares what it's saying? Shoot it! <laughs> and add Mitch! Mm -hmm. e but it's kind of funny. Mitch is so busy laughing at the zombie that he doesn't notice it's tearing his chest open into a stairway. That's where they General. get you. Mitch gasps while dying. Please tell my wife about the cowabunga zombie. Funniest shit I've ever seen! <laughs> Wow, you really taught a zombie to say cowabunga. Your commitment to idiotic tasks is almost impressive. Yeah, just imagine a zombie saying cowabunga to you while it's eating your brains, bro. It's a great prank. Hey, we got three soul, but we lost three magic. Oh, oh no. Wow. Well... No! I... <laughs> um... we, need... we need some more magic. Okay, we can, we can figure that out. We need to um... rekindle the magic, Mom. Maybe the bus stop is where that little one that you wanted to see will show up. I'll go to the bus stop over here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Polly again. Okay, yeah. The, I don't trust that young woman, but just... You know what? At this point, it's better than that necromancer. Should we talk... Oh, about an apartment or par party etiquette? Sounds great. I want to learn about partying. She looks like she knows how to party. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, parties. They seem so random and carefree, yet they are full of unwritten rules. There's too many to list in one go, but I'd say most of them basically boil down to applying some common sense. And they can be really important, especially if you happen to be a special guest. Huh? Special guests are party people and creatures of the night. No one knows how they got to the party. Maybe they're a friend of a friend of a friend, or someone who heard about the party from someone who's not even there. Sometimes a special guest could be a total stranger who just sort of joined you while they were getting to an after party. It's random people you choose to open your doors to, basically. If one night you find yourself being a special guest in someone's party, please behave. Some special guests end up being lifelong friends. Some end up being one-night friendships, and some end up being a general nuisance. One time at an after party, we had someone I've never seen before asking if he could lick my feet. Oh my god! He was polite about it, at least, but still creepy. At some point, he threw his underwear off the balcony. To this day, I have no idea what the plan was there. Maybe a bold. Now there's no going back in his nakedness. I don't know. That's a big yikes, huh, Mom? You're never going to a party again in your lifetime. But... <laughs> there, if, there, if there's a single man that might ask to... I'm not repeating that, but you are never going don't to a party worry, again Mom. in your life. I will worry. Um, that is... No, listen. I'm not letting anybody see my feet for free, okay? Don't worry. What do you mean for free? What does that mean? What is the context of that implication? Yeah, and it should be so easy. If a stranger invites <sighs> you into their home for an after party, maybe don't be a dick. If you can do that, chances are already following party etiquette. Dang! <sighs> anyway, don't you worry. You and me can go partying soon, and afterwards I can properly introduce you to nope. after party culture. Nope. Nope. It's a date! <gasps> We're going on a date with... I'm no. going on a date with Polly. No. Oh, God, no. 
Holly spends the rest <laughs> listing some of her favorite party rules. Some are pretty obvious and some are quite surprising. Surely good to know them. Yay! Okay, this is the bus stop. You can either check for hitchhikers to pick up or have a conversation with the one that's already riding with you. Conversations are chill, narrative treat with no choices to be made. If you've had enough, okay. Um, if a new right, PS5 let's... shows up at the house, Mom, don't worry about it. What does that mean? I, I, I don't know either. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, look, this this young woman will actually improve our magic, too. Do you want this one? The, um, the, uh, this is the good. one you wanted, right? Uh, Avaravi. Yeah. Okay, Avaravi. Let's get her. Oh, she's cute. Her little tiny scowl. Oh. Um, you invite Avaravi to join your road trip. You seriously think I would want to travel with you? You're being very rude. She went. I mean, <laughs> like that <laughs> alien from B Baldur's Gate Three. Alien? The the, the one? Squid? Yeah, the yellow one. Yellow. She's uh, cool. She's cool. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, she could beat me up. Oh no, she would not. No one is going to beat you up. What do you mean, <gasps> honey? I won't let that happen to you. Um, ah, fine. <laughs> what, I, you're, okay, um, I, I guess I will, not because I like you or anything. Okay, inventory hoarder, you gotta be ready for adventure. Avaravi keeps buying all sorts of magical artifacts with your money. Next week, every turn, you'll lose magic. Okay, um, you'll gain magic, but you'll lose money. That's fine. Well, Money's very high. Well, good thing we have lots of money. Yeah, we have lots yeah. of money. Nice. That's very helpful, actually. Um, do we get something if we get these to the top of these? I don't, maybe, I think we unlock a picture or something. Okay, okay, this is a very cute game. Yeah! Okay, you get to choose where we go next. The troll gas station. Huh. Pet contest. Oh! <gasps> you, can, you can put me in the pet contest. <laughs> no, we can't. That's, that's silly. You're a normal, nice young woman. That would be impossible. They would not but accept I'm so you there. Cute. Yes, I you would win. Adorable. I would win. You would 100%. win. You would win. Absolutely. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to the pet contest. All Love right. Them. Back, back, back. Oh. No, don't, 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 don't. Okay. Um. You're surrounded by pets of the highest pedigree. Here you prove that they're the best of the domesticated animals. Ah, I want to be. Wait, never mind. But you've got a pretty impressive good boy of your own who's ready to compete. Scott, no, uh, I want to do it. Whatever. Scott would win this thing easy peasy. It might be his first and only chance to actually outsmart his competition. Mm -hmm. The only question that remains is what category you want to enter him in. How about this one? Because I don't, I don't know what, I don't, oh, height. Oh, we have a lot of oh. height. Um, you know what? Why not? It looks like we'll get a random one for the looks one, but it looks I'm like it'll gonna... only go up. Yeah. I'm going to say... That he's, that's what he's got. He's going. He's he's hot, but he's dumb. Oh, I'm, I mean, I think in this case he'll be observed as an animal and like they'll decide uh, his features as like a dog like he's will cute. be. Okay, he's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, there weren't cat ears like you. <gasps> yeah, just like me. I wonder you if there's heard... wiggle like mine. Probably. Because. Dang, that's so that's... cool. Yep, probably. Normal, just ears um but yeah go ahead sweetie sorry they're normal like your ears they're normal so normal <sighs> you all enter scott into the pet contest he's very excited about it this is awesome bros i've always wanted to compete in a pet contest i'm 50 percent wolf 50 percent man and 100 percent sight you are too you survey the room sussing out the competition and spot none other than dahlia signing up oh no mm. hey guys I'd like you to meet my pet, Astaroth. I found him growing in my septic tank. Isn't he the cutest? Um, what? What's that, Mom? What is that thing? A septic tank or a reptoid? Uh, the thing that grew in it. I don't know. That's crazy. Well, reptoid creatures um don't exist. Never mind. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. No. I believe okay. you. I believe yeah, you. Yeah, they, they just don't exist. Um. We'll talk about it later. You're not sure if a huge beast that could eat you whole could be described as cute, but you're not going to upset Astaroth by disagreeing. I mean, 
I've seen some cute monsters in Monster Hunter before. They're pretty cute. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pretty cute, yeah. Astroth, get fancy! Astroth surely makes a face. Is it fancy or a thing of nightmares? You're not the one to judge that. The judges are. Ha ha ha, great job, buddy. You'll be the belle of the ball for sure. Have a treat. <gasps> I want a treat. Dahlia feeds Astroth something you convince yourself isn't a severed finger. Good luck, you guys. Hope we can still be friends after I kick your asses at having the cutest animal. Dang, are you guys sure I can win this? I know I'm a handsome boy, but the competition here is surely cute. I see your point, buddy. I mean, just look at that lady's tortoise. The eyebrows on that thing. The turtle surely fucks. <laughs> and look at that fluffy orange kitty. Its face is grumpy, but also somehow aloof and mysterious. That cat's got some really big dick energy. What on earth? Who taught this woman how to talk? <laughs> Oh man, I have a friend at ca that at the school like her. I have a friend in the, at school like her. Oh you know no! That? I mean, she's that's really nice. she's really fun. Oh, be careful! I mean, that's wonderful. Maybe we can. What's her full legal name and um, her social security number so I can just look into a few things? I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. She's great. You'll, you're gonna love her. Oh, yes. Your friends are not wrong, but how far are you willing to go in order to make Scott look more handsome for the next few minutes? Let's see. He doesn't need a glow up. Everyone loves Scott for being a good boy, but being a bit of a bad boy is sexy too. I agree with this one. Give him an earring to make him 5% hotter, or this forbidden transmutation circle can turn Scott into the hottest creature on earth. A bartender? A bartender? What? A dog bartender? That's crazy. I think I want the middle one. What do you think? I I want to see his bartending ability as an animal, but also I think a little earring would be very cute. Um, whatever you want to do, honey. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go with your suggestion. Let's go with your suggestion. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Whoops. I thought we were gonna use magic. I did too. Uh, actually, that would have been worse. Oh god. <laughs> Using forbidden magic sounds like a negative three soul move, but fuck it, I'll do whatever it takes. With minus two magic, oh. you draw the Terran's mutation circle and spread oh, no. it. Oh we're Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing... I mean, oh. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh jeez, this is how it usually doesn't go. Yeah, uh, but anyway, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's an appointment <sighs> contract, look. He's enveloped in smoke that smells like expensive liquor and sca upscales it. This is what the vet smells like! No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Pet Contest judges. Welcome to my bar. What can I get for you today? Oh my, look at how well-groomed this pet is. The judges say, fanning themselves. He's even trained to speak on command. Please let me make you a yummy drink. It may take some time to prepare because I'm going to do lots of unnecessary shaking tricks to make myself look cool. You see, I'm also something called a mixologist. That means I take more time to make cocktails, and they're also more expensive. Wow, this pet is so cultured. Can you make me a cosmopolitan bartender? Sure. While I take an excessive amount of time making a drink, would you like to unload your sorrows onto me? How wonderful. He's handsome, trained, and a great listener. Watch me pour these two drinks into one drink. Now I'll do some sexy poses and flex my biceps while I shake it up. Shaky, shaky. Oh my, he's so casual, and at the same time, so passionate. Wow, look at him go. I should get Scott to market my toilet wine. Damn it, Astaroth's fancy hat can't top that. I knew I shouldn't have got a rat that could cook classy French cuisine. The judges give Scott the win, and some of them even give him their phone numbers. You gain plus three oh. money and two hype. Oh god. Oh, well, well that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone a bit better, but but our magic increased because of that little girl you like. Okay, um... Yeah! Okay, um... Existence is pain. Gift shop. Wedding. <gasps> you want to go to the wedding, don't you, sweetie? I want a wedding. Okay, not not for you, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what's going on at the wedding. There we go. I want a wedding! I don't know about that, sweetie. Um... I just don't know about that. Um, all weddings, the union of two or more soulmates. Are they having weddings for more than two people now? Soulmates, pledging life and love to each other for the rest of their days. 
if you believe that true love stuff. If not, yeah, at least weddings yeah, are fun. It's it's called a polygon. A polygon? Oh, yeah. okay. You're not getting involved in a polygon, are you? It's when a man and a woman and a woman and a woman and a man love each other. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's a lot about society I don't understand anymore. Kids have gotten real weird. Um, but I I'd love you, but I don't think that's a good idea for you. Um, uh, <gasps> weddings are a fun place to dress fancy, get drunk. Uh, they're also fun to crash. This is what you're doing now. Shh. What do you want to do? Um, talk to the runaway bride. Oh, no. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, that sounds evil, but what, what, what do you think, sweetie? Ah, I want, if it were me, I would catch the bouquet. You would catch the bouquet? But that's, that's just me, because that means I would get married next. Okay, we're not going to do that one then. Um, you are forbidden from that. Uh, you will not be dating and you will not be getting married. Not on my watch. Not for, for... At least 10 more years. You have a lot of maturing to do. I'll make it 20. I'll make it 20. It's just not a good idea, sweetie. Some men and some women are just real weird. Um, let's try to convince this young woman she should be she should be taken care of uh, in holy matrimony. Before you can get inside to check on the buffet or well, open bar situation, you see the bride crying behind some bushes. Uh-oh. Oh, they look so fancy and nice today. They dressed up so nice. Look. Yeah, that's See, so cute. Polly can, Polly can clean up good. She looks beautiful. If she looked like this every day, I would. She, that's a very <laughs> fine young woman. You should bring her home someday if she um can look as noble and elegant as she does there. Okay. Excuse, there you go. Excuse me, miss. Sorry to bother you, but you look sad. And you shouldn't you be happy on your wedding day? Uh, you guys are wedding crashers, I assume. Normally, I have my hellhounds rip you to shreds, but maybe you can help me. You see, I'm supposed to marry my childhood best friend today. It's an arranged marriage that'll unite our dukedoms in the third she circle of hell. She is so pretty. She is. <sighs> um, I do love my fiancé. He's funny and sweet, and we've always been close. Ours has been a slow burn friends to arranged couple to actual couple story. Plus, we've, I've got kidnapped by angels and held hostage in heaven a few months ago. My fiancé left the ambush to free me. It was so romantic. Problem is... While I was in prison having awaiting rescue, I met I sort of met someone. Their name is Adriel. They're a low-ranking angel who was ordered to guard my cell, but Adriel wasn't like the other angels. Adriel's like Steve. Oh no. What has Steve talked to you about, sweetie? What what did Steve Nothing. No, he just lets he me play the games. He just lets me play the games on his phone, I swear. I need to make a few text messages in just a second. They saw me not as a demon or duchess, but as a person. It was liberating. My fiance came for me, Adriel, the mother flipper, slipped me the cell key, which allowed me to escape. They should have been executed, but they got caught helping me. But they did it. They could have they could have been executed. They did it anyway. And now I don't know what to do. Do I marry my sweet, sexy fiance, uniting our dukedoms against the reign of heaven? Or do I run while I've still got the chance and throw myself at Adriel in a whirlwind forbidden romance? Well, I know what you shouldn't do. Trust total strangers to make this big life decision for you. But since you already are, Vicky, any ideas? Oh, God. You've pulled enough all-nighters reading fanfic to know exactly how this story should end. Where sh who should the bride go for? Double down on your previous choices and choose the super sexy childhood friend the wedding buffet cannot get cancelled no arranged marriage can trump a good star-crossed lover story run into the arms of the sexy angel sweetie i have a feeling which one you'd pick but which one is it oh i you know i i would I, the one on the right is my choice but like you're you're vicky you get to choose the one on the right's your choice oh they got all those things that are unrelated to you you don't like that kind of stuff. You, that's 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 silly. Um, um. I like you know it's it's romantic. It's romantic. It's romantic. It's romantic, but it's like but I'm the a devil man. and you're an angel and uh, oh my god and I'm already with the deranged thing. Oh, it's like super romantic and dramatic. But what about this poor man here? Wouldn't he feel horrible? Probably. What? Probably. <laughs> 
Sorry about your bad luck, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. I, I feel like so Chiaki bad Fancy. for him. I, I feel like so Chiaki bad Fancy. for him. They could just all kiss together. What, um, they could. Kissy, kissy. That yeah. is now something that happens very often. Um, <laughs> I just feel so bad for this young man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, you're right. I can't ignore these feelings. I need to find Advril. Is it Advril or Advril? Um, and run away with them before it's too late. We'll help you find them. We could start by asking those angels spying on us from behind those bushes. Advril, is that you? I realized I can't go through with this marriage. Let's run away together before it's too late. I feel so bad for that. Oh, gosh. Oh, sure. I'll admit I was looking forward to going full. I object during the vows, but this works, too. I love you so much, my dear. I don't care what anyone says. To think we angels are taught that demons are nothing more than sinful, wicked creatures. But how can that be when you are not if when you are not sin? If anything, the only sin here is my feelings for you. Don't worry, my love. I'll guide you through these dark, sinful thoughts. Sin will become the language which our bodies will speak to understand each other better. Do I like you promise? That. I like that. That's my <laughs> language. No, it's not. You'll even guide me through <laughs> the sin of. Uh, Oh my god, we should have stayed with that nice- oh no. I'll guide you through it till we see the light at the end together. Even through- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god, we should have stayed- how do we reload? I don't want to be- Oh my god! No! No, no, no! Okay, everyone turn- <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh no. I I oh, feel wow. so bad about that. No wedding buffet. And, and I I thought the other man looked very sweet. I would have I would have chosen him, but oh god. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. This is where you're learning how to talk. I know now. <gasps> what? I learned it from my dad. What are you talking about? Oh, God, that... <laughs> <sighs> this is a mirage. And this is a farm. And if we go to the farm, it looks like we could get some soul. So we should probably leave the farm. Okay. It's it's up to you. You choose what you want, honey. I'm still recovering from ruining that poor man's life. Yeah, you know what? He'll find someone else. He'll be fine. He'll be all right, Mom. He'll go to therapy like I did, and he'll be all fine. All right, all right. He'll go to therapy. He'll go to therapy. <laughs> ah, farm life. Sometimes it's nice to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Farmers enjoy clean air, homegrown food, and simple living. Sure, it comes at the price of doing lots of hard labor and usually only having livestock for company. But fuck it, today you're all about that cottage core life. <gasps> what part of the farms do you want to see first? Hmm. Let's see the cows so we can get some soul. Cows Those are cute. Are cute. Do, yeah. Cows are super cute. You and your friends wanted the farm for a little bit when you run into its owner. Oh, hello. What? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Look at her. She's a jack o' lantern. She's adorable. She's a, she's a jill o' lantern. <laughs> it's Jacqueline. Are you strangers here to help support me as I restore my grandfather's farm? It's like Stardew Valley. I bet you'd oh. like that game, Mom. That Maybe. sounds very cute. I like Stardew. That's a cute it's a name. Farm. It's a farm game, and there's no... I was going to say there's no monsters in it, but I think there might be monsters in it. Oh, well, you know what? Monsters are fine. We can just... I'll take care of them. <gasps> she has I'll green hair. Green hair is great. She's very cute. We're, yeah. We're more like trespassers. We just wanted to pet some of your cute farm animals. That's fine, too, but I have to warn you, my animals have been acting weird lately. Things were going great when I raised cows and sheep, but when I bought my pigs, well, you can see for yourselves. I need to plant at least 45 seeds this afternoon to optimize crop production, but I'll, <laughs> I'll meet you at the barn soon. Oh, wow. You, you check the barn. Look, they look so cute in their little farming outfits. Look at them. They're so yeah, cute. they have so many different outfits. It's adorable. Oh, no. Rise up, uh. comrades. This <laughs> pig. We've long toiled under monster kind, doing their bidding for no reward. We must overthrow Jacqueline and take over the farm for ourselves! Okay, yep. 
I love your idea, oh. Snowflake. Says the cow. Oh. It's sort of reformed. He oh, planned no. a okay. cabbage once the fun. <laughs> Well, when I'm ruler, we'll build a huge walled-in enclosure to imprison the monsters, and then we'll make the monsters pay for it. It'll be awesome. I'm back. Anyway, do you see what I mean? These animals have gone postal. I don't think I'm a tyrannical farm dictator like I've overheard them say. I also don't mind establishing a fair union between me and my animals, if that's what they want. But I'm pretty sure Snowflake just wants to establish himself as a cruel dictator and is taking advantage of the animal's limited intelligence to do so. Oh, God. What are you talking about? Snowflake sounds like a great leader. He's going to make the monsters pay for the wall. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Let's introduce a rogue element into Snowflake's regime. The animals won't listen to us monsters, but they might believe one of their own. That could work. I've met tons of weird animals since I moved here. Let's ask one of these two. <laughs> oh, God. So we have an an anti-capitalist anarchist toppled this new status quo by planning an anti-establishment punk skunk with tons of raw charm and an insolent band. Or send in this very normal rabbit who only needs a convincing backstory to go undercover. I think this one would be more convincing. I think they both look terrifying. I really That's, don't. The, the one on the right weird. makes me look, it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, they look terrifying. Um, wh which, whichever one you want to do, sweetie, I trust your judgment here. Okay. Later, the animals are gathered for another political meeting. Snowflake is doing a Q&A regarding the monster kind insurrection. Snowflake asks the cow, Will we really get all the hay we can eat in the new regime? Of course, says Snowflake. That's the best part of my regime. We won't have to pull plows or do any work and we'll have the food aplenty. How's that possible? Asks the concerned horse. We do need a more equal labor distribution, but everyone will need to do some work in order for society to function. Snowflake's response is drowned out by someone suddenly wailing on a grungy electric guitar. Ugh, oh, you guys are so boring. Who needs society when you can say, fuck that noise and make some noise. Wake up, sheeple. We like what he's saying, says the sheep, head banging in unison. Embrace anarchy! Yeah! Anarchy! Wait, let's not be too hasty, Snowflake says desperately. I promise a lifetime of free hay and an enslaved monster. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god! No one cares. The skunk is drowning out Snowflake's propaganda with loud guitar solos. The skunk puts on the best punk concert you've ever seen. Well, maybe not the best, but it's definitely the loudest. You gained three soul for thwarting an Orwellian plot. But the mosh pit at the concert did a lot of damage to Jacqueline's barn and you have to pay three money to fix it. That's actually good. Yeah, no, that's it's, fine. Yeah, yeah, yes. There's a lot of stats. There's three in a row that have ends. Oh, wow. Oh, anxiety inducing. Well, I think that went well, though. Um. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Circus or regular motel. Uh, our stamina's pretty low. That seems like a good place to get stamina. Hmm. But where the motel? Yeah, we could we could take a take a nice nap. That's our lowest stat. Yes. Um, let's let's do that one. Let's do that one. The regular motel. Okay. I think that's. I know it's a little boring. The circus looks really fun, but the regular motel that'll that'll be a little better. Motels don't have to be boring. Yeah. Depends on what you do in them. I guess that's true. You could do a lot of fun stuff there. Um, after a long, exciting day of sitting in a car, you're ready to turn in for the night. Time to choose which... Oh, they're diseased. Uh, which mundane activity to do before going to sleep. Surely Polly and Scott will find a way to make it weird. Get ready for bed. That'll that'll get us the most stamina back, I think. Um, I bet you're right. Although eating pizza could help, too. Um, let, let's try getting ready for bed. Okay. You claim your mattress and start preparing to go to bed. As you're Easy deciding time. which of your onesies to make look the most... Okay. You hear Scott and Polly giggling in the bathroom. You go to investigate. Hey there, Vicky. Scott and I are doing nightly skin tear routines. Care to join us? Oh, surely. But before you can rejoice about these two doing a normal activity for once, you see them step aside to reveal a... A fleshy, undulating pile of skin sitting on the sink. What? What is that? 
It's our skin, silly. I heard that skincare is really important, but Polly doesn't have skin of her own anymore. So I got this little guy to take to care for. Okay, his name is Rodriguez. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> okay, but where did Scott even get this eldritch skin ab abomination? Boo, you asked too many questions, and questions are not part of a good skincare routine. Wink. So you're gonna help us rub lotion on Rodriguez or what? Oh god, no. Um, despite not having eyes, the skin is somehow staring at you, maybe even through you. No, no, I did not sign up for this. Well, actually, you did sign up for this. Moisturizing Rodriguez is part of your road trip contract. What? Dang. They apparently signed it. It looks like you're stuck rubbing lotion on this. Ew. I think this will get her stats up the most. We'll rub lotion on it all night. That's disgusting, sweetie. Yes, um, yes. What kind of games are you that's, playing? That's great. That's a great thing to do. You're eff it. You're doing this. You're doing this. You start vigorously rubbing lotion into the warm, wiggly skin. Five minutes become hours. You're up to your elbows in attached skin. You run out of lotion and begin moisturizing Rodriguez with your own. Oh God. I like that, Mom. You don't. You you do not have commitment issues. Look oh, at that. Oh God. That's great. No, it's not. The skin appreciates your blood sacrifice. You begin seeing things like choruses of angels singing in forbidden tongues. Oh, okay. Uh, your mind expands. Skin is the biggest organ of the body. Skin is everywhere. The entire world is covered in a fine oh, no. layer of skin. It's At like Sayanouta. It is. This is a nicer ending, though. God appears to you and says, Thank you, Vicky, for caring so much for my creatures. Even the ugly, disturbing ones I made when I was drunk. Skin is love. Skin is life. You care for the skin, and the skin will care for you forever. Good morning, Vicky. Still taking care of Rodriguez? That's cool. Do you mind if I take my morning poop while you're at it? Go ahead. It matters not. There is no privacy. We're all connected by the skin. What uh -oh. in the world? <laughs> That's not good. You lost five mind... But you gain three hype and your friend's approval for- and one soul because you've done a good deed, or so you think. That's not good. You also gain one magic from meeting God during a skincare session, or at least from tripping, so potentially you- Okay, that's not- I, I thought we'd get stamina. The skin always provides. Oh no! Heck yeah. I mean, uh, that was an awful. Your hype is going up at least. Yeah, hype, 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 hype. Hype. Indeed, okay. Place to sleep. What um, happens if you get in the car? I wonder. I don't know. We could do that. Um, will it just skip this little area? I don't know. Um, I have okay, no idea what it does. Stamina, soul, money, mind, magic, hype. Um, will this get rid of our little lady if we get another hitchhiker? Like um, maybe that can help our stats. Probably. Okay. It'll probably get rid of her. We get Let's see. I want to try this. You gonna get the noodles? Yeah, welcome to the bartering stand where you can barter with the little trinkets you manage your resources a bit. Each trinket is tied to a resource. You'll need to resource tied to the trinket you give. Okay, uh, well, um, noodles is here. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. Howdy, welcome to noodles' swap shop. He's a cute little guy. He is cute. Look at him. He has a little hat on, too. Um, uh, meditation. Okay. Um, wait, what? Someone else's credit card? What? <laughs> this is equal to an erotic fanfiction about dragons, Scott Snacks, gas canister. Uh. Do I click on one of these? I think you pick one that you have and then you trade it for something um over there. An incredibly delicious salad. Look at that ring. That ring on the thing. The ring with the triangle. That looks like the rings that the guys that bring our mail wear. No, they don't. They don't, sweet. That, no, 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 that's, um, uh, um, they, the, uh, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the youth, the youth loves those now, um, as well as cult leaders. The youth loves them. We have a lot of youthful youth delivering our mail. It's very normal, very normal youth. Uh, the car is where you can manage your, uh, road trip. By I want a ring like that. Yeah. Can you give me one? No, 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 um, the youth, um, accessing one of too many boosts. There you go, sweetie. It's your turn. <laughs> uh huh. Can choose to be a careful planner and gain plus one of your lowest resources and lose one of your highest. Oh, this is good, actually. Mm. Or you can be risky and gain one of your highest at the cost of one of your lowest. Mm. Let's, what's it gonna be? Uh, let's do cautious. 
Mm, that's that's a good that was good. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I sat in the car. It was it was helpful, sweetie. Oh, you're getting very close to uh, getting your hype to full, though. Heck yeah! Super hype. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's wonderful. Not covering up any story, Phantom. You better watch your tone. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much, Phantom. Yeah. Oh, um... Border of a one-person country. Well, this road trip's going international. Oh, they must own this land. Um... End of the World Summit, No Heroes Allowed. Ah, <gasps> oh, wow! You want to go to that? Let's go to that, then. Wow! It's gonna be fun. I bet that, look, it looks like it exudes this aura of, the, like, there's a lot of hotties there. Oh, no. Okay. Wow, the evil energy here is palpable. Every villain who's any villain must be here. You yes. don't even know if you consider yourself to be truly villainous, but then again, your life's philosophy is be your worst self. Which is close enough, apparently, because they give you an entry past the door. Sweet. There are plenty of events being hosted. Which one interests you the most? Okay. You'll... You'll gain some mind with that. Do we need mind? We need a little bit of mind. Um, you'll lose some soul here. We have some soul to spare. And this one, Roundtable on Fighting Good. I ended a whole timeline, and you can do it two panel. That sounds scary. Um, which one do you want to go to, sweetie? Evil Workshop, um, I Ended a Timeline. That one sounds intense. I like the one in the middle. Okay, let's do that one. Sounds like fun. Sounds educational. Yeah, don't do that, though. Um, we're gonna do the opposite. You understand the basics of villainy, but now's the perfect time to learn from the experts. Welcome oh to- Oh my goodness, that girl on the right? Oh! Oh no, okay. Um, welcome to the I Ended a Whole Timeline and You Can Too panel. I'm your host, Evil Joy, here with my co-host, co Evil Faith. The panel begins. You're so invested that you forget to be alarmed when they're discussing ending your world. You gain three plus mind. So to wrap it up, just remember, incapacitate your non-evil twin, keep monologuing to a minimum, and when all else fails, C4 prevails. Thank you. We've reached the... Oh, she is very evil. Very cute dress, though. We've reached the QA portion of the panel. Does anyone have any questions? Um, oh, my. This is the question for Evil Joy. Are you doing anything later, babe? How strange. My entire afternoon is booked solid with avoiding solo salmon? For, like, the plague. Next. Uh, hello, ladies. You claim you destroyed your timeline, but really it collapse... Its collapse was actually caused by Evil Hope ditching you to join our timeline's coven. She only left your timeline because our coven persuaded her to join them. So the real credit for ending your timeline goes to the this timeline's coven, wouldn't you agree? Uh... Evil Faith pulls a gun out of her purse and shoots Leonard in the knee. Uh, she's for like her. you, Mom. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, bad action. After that, the entire Q&A line hurries to sit back down. Vicky, this is your chance to ask a dumb question and totally prank the evil coven. Go for it. Uh, sure, prank the unhinged supervillains that have magic powers and a gun. Seems legit. What question do you ask? Um, I wasn't listening. Could you repeat the panel? One of the, ch out of the, of the two of you, who's the most evil? We're betting on it, and I'm pretty sure it's evil faith. What do you think? Who is faster, Superman or me? Then proceed to run around the room. It's a very silly person. This is what you do to turn them against each other, which is quite horrible. Um, I like that answer. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll pick that one. What? That's a stupid question. Quit wasting our time. Yes, obviously the most evil of the pair is... Evil of the pair of us. Um, I'm the most evil of the pair of us. Way to lose a bet, dumbass. Wait, excuse me, what makes you think you're more evil than me? Seriously, we joys are almost exactly the coven... Almost always the coven leader in all timelines. If our timeline leadership metric is measured in evilness, I'm clearly the most evil. Aren't fates supposed to be smart and level-headed? Surely you knew this was true. We fates are s smart and level-headed enough to know that that statement was complete lateral thinking BS. I'm definitely more diabolic than you, and I can prove it. Take this. Ow, did you just boob punch me? Oh, goodness. Punching someone on the boob isn't evil. Wow. It's just a harlot move. If you really want to be evil, you aim for the throat like so. Oh god, did you bite me? Evil Joy makes a point. Throat biting is objectively more evil than boob punching. Pay up, Vicky. Dang, can't argue with that. They take three money. Okay, we, we have... Oh, uh -oh. we barely have money. Oh, we're, uh, we're running out of money! 
Uh, I tried to tell you, dummy. Evil Fate is the hot one, not the evil one. God, I wish she'd punch me in the boob. Man. Don't we all, Paul? No, 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 no. Okay, it's your turn, sweetie. Money! <laughs> Look at all the wow. money, Mom! That is a lot of money. I think we should I think we should go to the wealthy mansion and get money. What's that blood on there? Oh, there is mm. blood. <laughs> oh no. Uh Why'd the oh. car stop? Uh-oh. God is in the driver's uh. seat while you, Polly, and Aravi chat about stuff and things. I gotta say, girl, I didn't expect you to want to hitchhike with us. I sorta of thought you'd try to kill one of us by now. Whoa, that was a big bump. Did I hit something? Nah, that'd be rude. I'm a guest here. I can find other monsters to slay when I'm back on an adventure. Oh, yeah. She's a monster hunter. What? Oh, God. Why are you She's hanging a monster out with her? Hunter. She's possessed. By what? A monster. So she wants to kill other mo- This makes no sense. The cartoons you watch are just so confusing. Children are just... Uh, okay, but that's <laughs> that's not a good idea, honey. You should be... Okay, sorry. You don't... Okay, please. This game is teaching you horror... Not related to you any all, at all. Never mind. Please go ahead. <laughs> what do you mean, back on an adventure? This road trip is an adventure. Baby, I can't wait for all the action-packed hijinks you're gonna bring us along on. Bros, I'm having trouble moving forward. What? But I didn't really plan on going on an adventure right now. I thought this was more like a vacation. Okay, I can't get the car to budge at all. I think we're stuck in mud or something. Great, do we need to get out and push? No, I don't think that'll work. It feels like we're sinking. Sinking? The hell? Yeah, look at that. It looks like the car's sinking into some kind of quick asphalt. That's a new one. Are we gonna die? <laughs> The, the car is a convertible. They can just jump out of the car. That's crazy. Um, Quick asphalt is no match for adventuring badass Arabi Mishra. What's the plan, boo? What? I don't know. I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot like this. I didn't even have time to look up a walkthrough. Oof. Does anybody have a plan B before we drown in asphalt then? Uh, There's always an entity to invoke in every situation. The best one to summon for asphalt-based enemies would be Virginia, the West Goddess of Country Roads. Oh. Or re reset reality and start again from the last checkpoint to avoid the quick asphalt this time. I I, I like the first option, but then what, you what go do you ahead think? and choose it. No, no, sweetie, you <sighs> choose it. I want to see what you do. Okay. An invocation would work. We just gotta nail the summoning chant. Country roads. Take me home. Oh, they're actually singing the whole. Okay. Oh. Wow, they're, they're they're singing the whole thing. Wow. That's beautiful. That's nice. Oh no! Oh, magic is really low. With a blast of warm sunshine, peach cobbler, and southern hospitality, Virginia the West Goddess appears. <laughs> well, bless your hearts, Virginia says. How did y'all get stuck in that quick asphalt? Ain't you seen it coming from a mile away? Uh, I let my guard down for one second. Can you please just get us out of here, ma'am? I'm fixing to, you know. This wouldn't have happened back in the day. We didn't have asphalt. Just old, reliable dirt roads and friends walking on them. Walking among homes where the buffalo roamed and the deer and the antelope would play. But listen to me gabbing on. I could talk till the cows come home. Let me fix you up right quick. Virginia touches the quick asphalt. It transforms into a bunch of dandelion seeds and blows away on a sweet westerly wind, allowing you to drive through. Yes, we made it. That got my fucking blood pumping. What's our next quest, Aravi? This is why I need a vacation. Aravi can be sore if she wants, but you had fun. Oh. You gained three hive from your tip. Yay. Oh, that's lovely. There you go, sweetie. That was nice, too. That, I like that event. That was fun. This one is a, uh, this is one fancy house. These people must be rich, rich. There's a sort of unsettling vibe to this place, but that's probably just what being rich feels like. And now's your chance to barge in and see what billionaire living is like for yourself. What interests you most? Hmm. All of these are money grabbing, I guess. Um, Grandpa's it's up to fun you. experiments. <laughs> Family. Get Let's babysit the kids. That sounds cute. Okay. Uh, I'd be a, I would be a great babysitter. Yeah, I think you could be, sweetie. Um, I think you could be. Okay. You and your friends ring the manor's doorbell. A wealthy middle-aged woman answers and says, Oh, hello, are you the babysitters? 
Nope, we're just a couple of friends on a wacky road trip that decided to stop by and... Hush, hush, answer the question. Are you disgustingly rich? Um, no. Then let me stop you right there. If you're not rich, you'll be whatever I want you to be. <laughs> you want your plus three money, don't you? I'm not gonna say no to free money. Perfect, then you are the babysitters. You've arrived in the nick of time. It's almost time for our second class citizen crossbow hunt. What? <laughs> what? Okay, guess we're just not gonna elaborate on that. The lady needs you to uh, lead you to the playroom where her twin children are busy doing stuff. Why is one of the kids crawling on the ceiling and speaking in tongues? <gasps> oh my goodness. Ignore uh. her. She's just had too much sugar. Get down from there, Clara Beth. Clara Beth turns her head 180 degrees to projectile vomit. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Twin, the other twin tugs timidly on his mother's skirt. Mommy! He whispers, I see a ghost in here. Yep, sup, kiddo. You old enough to drink yet? Oh, oh god. The kid stares dead eyed at Polly for a minute, then pulls out a knife and whispers, The ghost says to kill you, mommy. Okay. Hey, I did not, you little gaslighter. Well, good luck with the little angel, says the mom, slamming the playroom door shut. Great, looks like you're stuck here. Clara Beth starts scratching demonic sigils in the ceiling and her brother's... <laughs> fucking bummer. Okay, I am way out of my depth here. Does anyone know anything about controlling a pair of creepy, misbehaving twins? Hey! I bet uh, you do, Mom! I might. Um, they need discipline. Grounding them isn't enough. You gotta underground them. Burying them alive. Oh, mm. <laughs> Bring one of their toys to life, purposely making it murderous to- Oh, try- Oh, um, these are both bad. Um. Uh, I would feel bad about the first one, so I'm gonna do the second one. That one sounds more exciting and fun and entertaining. Second one sounds pretty bad, too. A magical moonbeam appears in the playroom. A storybook-appropriate fairy godmother appears in it. Hello, dears. Let me guess. You want a child of your own, but are unable to have one, so you need me to bring a toy to life to fill the void in your heart? Uh, sure, yes, that thing you just said, definitely. Fairy Godmother taps her wand on one of the twins' dolls and says, Voila, this little toy has been gifted with life. But it'll only become a real boy if it learns to be good and kind. Good luck with that. <laughs> the Fairy Godmother vanishes. Did that lady just say I have to be good, the toy asks? How do I do that? What is good? I just achieved sentience. I have no concept of morality yet. That's why you gotta trust everything I tell you with complete blind faith, okay? Old Polly guys will tell you exactly what's good and bad. This is gonna be great. Lesson one, stabbing children is morally okay if they're being annoying. Go practice by stabbing those screaming kids over there. Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrible. Lord help us. Okay, I trust you blindly and completely. Come here, fellow children. Let me bleed you dry so I can be a real boy. Polly, are you sure this is okay? Yeah, look at the little brats running around screaming and crying. That means they're having fun. They just needed a third annoying sibling to run around, run, round out their dynamic. We can leave now. Our job here is done. I say so, and as we've learned, the best way of deciding if something's true or not is if I say it is. Let's go, gang. Oh, she's just like me, for real. What? You and your friends ditched the creep. Well, just the last part. Not, not the, you know... Giving a, t a toy sentience and having it murder children. Oh, that, that's okay. not me. I would, oh, I would never okay. do that, Mom. That's All crazy. right. You're a good girl. You're, You're a good your girl. Friends, <laughs> your friends ditch the creepy kids and drive off. You're relieved that shit's over, but you lost... Oh, no! Oh, no! <sighs> we have one magic! Hopefully we can get some on one of these. Soul, soul. Hmm... This is dangerous. It is. So we can't lose any more magic or we lose. How many weeks are there? How many like days do we have left? I think left there's to... four. So this is the last one too. Okay. Um, let's try the fancy motel. Car sounds like it's choking. It's running low on magic. Oh, they're even talking about it. Okay. Uh, where do you stay when you're too cheap for a real hotel, but too fussy for a regular motel? Here, apparently. This place is- oh, the diseased person's here. Um, this Heck place yeah. is full of charm and poise. Three things you've ar always lacked. Okay. Um, which means tonight is the perfect night to cosplay a rich, famous person. What do you do? Okay. 
All right. We need to make sure we avoid losing any magic. Um, maybe the third one? Amenities. I hope so. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, cut to the montage of you enjoying all the amenities. Free towels, jacuzzi, buffet, jacuzzi in the buffet. Buffet of free towels. Many more combinations of the three. Scott, Vicky, look, I love free towels, buffets, jacuzzi as much as the next gal, but I feel like this is a bit... has overstayed its welcome. I say we should look for something new amenity-wise. Okay, no magic. More amenities. Woohoo. And so you head to the front desk. Amenities, you say. Have you already tried the buffet <gasps> of free towels? It's an all time. Is this like Sadako, Mom? Do you know Sadako? That one's the one from uh, the one where she comes out of a little hole in the ground that holds the well, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's so cute. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's an all time favorite. Uh, been there, done that. Give me the goodies. I'm sure you have like super special amenities for exclusive clients. There's no such things, ma'am. We offer a wide variety of amenities equal to all clients. Sure, sure, I hear you. But s seriously, tell us the secret exclusive super special amenities. Wink. Ma'am, I'm telling you the truth. There are only amenities you see. You won't change no matter how many times you ask for it. Give us the super secret special amenities. Gimme, give gimme. Give well, fancy motel rules state that you can. we can only show you three secret exclusive super special amenities if you ask three times. So here you go. Secret exclusive special amenities. Woohoo! You check your <laughs> options here. Undergo initiation rights. So this is probably this is probably gonna be magic. So pillage other Oh, I don't wanna steal from them, but we this one will end the run, I think. If you steal, you'll probably lose some soul, but we have ten we have ten oh, soul. That's true. We All might right. be okay. There are some conditions you have to follow. You can only pillage the guest's personal items. Remember, it's got a fancy motel seal, it's not for you to steal. Uh, we can only pillage children if their parents sign a release form. Um, fancy motels have legal claim of fifty percent of all pillaged twins. <laughs> The pillaging okay. period... Oh god. Uh, is only open <laughs> until 9 p.m. Any pillagers after dark will be so shot on site. Love to see you try. After signing some legal forms, you, Scott, and Polly have a ball ransack in other guests' room, taking anything that's not nailed down and lighting the rest on fire. Please have mercy, cries one woman whose room you pillage. You can take whatever you want, just don't hurt my kids. Don't worry, ma'am. We never do that without your signature. It's against the terms and conditions. Just goes to show you that anything's ethical as long as you follow the rules. You lose three soul. Okay. From the fact that... Okay, last statement will be you get three money. Okay, great. We're okay. Even though we had to... Oh, God. Oh, uh, no. Oh, look at that. Okay, which, which one's... Mm, cryptic Tech Company? Oh. Or UFO... Oh, Aliens. This one mm. gets hype. I think I want to do this one. Okay. Let's go see some aliens. All right. This, we can do this. Just a little more. We won't, we won't die Just here. a little bit um, further. We're almost there. Oh, that poor you, cow. You came here today to answer the age-old question, do aliens exist? Who knows if you'll see any today, but at least it'll be fun to hang out with the other UFO spotters. So besides which, watch the stars and swap extraterrestrial conspiracy theories. What do you want to do? Uh, let's look for UFOs. Get that hype. Let's get some hype. There you go. There seem to be a lot of alien spotters in the desert tonight. You spot two of your friends with their telescope in the crowd. Hi, Kale. Hi, Abdu. Are you here to look at constellations? Have you seen my favorite one yet? I call it the big boy frying pan. Oh. Nice. I'm a fan of Ariga myself. Charioteering was the grandfather of skateboarding. Changed my mind. But today we're using our telescope to look for UFOs. You're welcome to join us if you want. Abdu and I are really into U <laughs> UFOlogy. <laughs> There's got to be other life out there besides us, you know. At least I hope there is. I'd rather not be alone in the universe. Cheer up, dude. In the grand scheme of life, between our friends and the aliens, all the microscopic parasites living on our bodies, we're never truly alone. <laughs> Dude, that's deep. That philosophical thought reminds me of something. Can you pass me the pipe? Uh-oh. You're looking for UFOs, you say? That's an eavesdropping UFO spotter. Wouldn't you rather meet the aliens in person? Do you have a way to do that? Are you an astronaut or a mad scientist? Even better, I'm an app developer. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> I made an app called Unite Friends Online. It's like a dating app, but instead of finding you a lover, it connects you to an alien to befriend... 
Whoa, are there really aliens on this app that we can talk to? Not yet, but there will be. No alien can resist my app, sleek graphic design, or ingenious user interface for long. That's so cool! I want to meet an alien on the app. Polly, you're smart. How should we get the aliens to notice us? Well, when I'm trying to get cute, interesting people to notice me on a horny dating app, I try to make my profile look as inviting as possible. It's good advice. Usually by using lots of eggplant emojis and giving my ass the spotlight it deserves. Also good advice. Too bad Earth doesn't have... <laughs> you, you didn't hear that, Mom. I was here physically next to you, so... <sighs> Okay, we can hack into a satellite, take some pics of Earth from a high angle and make it look prettier, or upgrade to the Platinum Planet profile to unlock advanced match preferences. I think uh, the first one would be more hype. But I think the second one will keep us from dying. I think we're going to get hype no matter what, but I think we're going to lose money on the second one. Not sure about the first one, though. It's up to you. Uh, I'll, have, I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to you. Money. You have. I think that might work. It's up to you. You take. You do as what long you need as these to. Aren't magic. Okay. Okay. Okay, mom. Hopefully, it's not magic one? hacking. Okay. I've heard that in a photography, you should focus on symmetry too. We got to make Earth look super symmetrical. What? It's, mm. What? Earth's a circle, so it should be symmetrical from every angle. But what if we find like the most symmetrical angle? Great plan. You use your computer skills to hack into. Hubble telescope oh, and take some okay. beauty shots of you yeah, okay yeah that's fine what do you think not bad if we're going for symmetry Australia's throwing it all off we could edit Australia out of the pic <laughs> <gasps> cheers mate I'm great at photo editing ta-da now earth looks pretty and you get a sneak peek oh. of the moon too <laughs> the moon oh. <laughs> it's, it's the moon face <laughs> oh wow it looks so nice, but don't you guys think editing Earth's look on a social profile is kind of dishonest? That's true. Besides, if I were an alien looking to invade Earth, I'd want some warning about Australia. You know, scary animals, big spiders. Maybe we should just take a new picture. This shot is showing too much water. Anyway, we want the aliens to know there's Earth on this Earth. Let's find an angle that shows off our poles more. <laughs> oh, God. A aliens always look for diverse biomes and potential planetary partnerships. Perfect. This photo really highlights Earth's best angles while downplaying its rampant humanitarian conflicts. And nice composition on Antarctica. Earth looks cool as fuck here, literally. If I were an alien, I'd invade us. You don't meet any aliens, presumably because they all flock to the South Pole, but you still gain three heights taking pics with your friends. Yay! That's lovely. <gasps> okay, cool. All right, I think you got your special picture, too. Um... I'm going to sit in the car. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So you, it, did you, you have can your do picture? anything else. Um, oh, it does, I think it does it after. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, um... What could we do? Um, this might help us get some of our magic back. <laughs> okay. Alright, okay, um... Hi, Vicky. Okay, I'm running a special. You can have everything on these shelves if you just trade me that pesky liver of yours. What do you need it for? Okay, I'm, I'm not giving you my liver. Get out of here. All right, so I need something that'll get our magic up. Um, the salad will take away a bit of our soul, I think. Um, maybe that'll take away a bit of our soul. I don't think... That might be our stamina. Horsepower from Concentrate looks like magic for the car. Yeah. Wait, will it though? Will that be? It? I don't. I don't know if it would. <laughs> macaroni art. Macaroni art or horsepower. Um, the math thing might be magic. Is this? That might be. That might be mind. That, that might yeah. be mind. Um, Money mind. Uh, hmm. what would the art be? I don't know. I. I think. I think the bottom right. The horse. I think the horsepower is the magic. Okay. I think that's gonna be stamina. But let's let's find out. Oh. Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. You did so good, sweetie. Yay. All right, we're out of the death area. We're alive. Uh, there you go, the there you go. The road trip continues. Uh, I can do this and still have 25 hype. Good job, good job. There's something There's else? something else. Oh. <gasps> Yay. There you are. Oh. It says destination fulfilled. 
Have fun at Knife Land. Yay! What does that mean? Oh, God. We won! We get to go to <gasps> Knife Land! Oh, God! Yay! Thanks for taking me to Knife Land, Mom! Oh, God! Um... The road trip comes to... Oh, my God! Oh god, sweetie. No, oh my god. The more I look it's at this, the worse it is. Nice. Look at it. It's so fun. We oh. rode all the rides twice. <sighs> They're awesome and deadly in equal parts. There's not one but two free falls. There's the pit full of spikes and the guillotine, which let you keep a severed head as a silly memento. Yay! There's also the blender, the pendulum, and a volcano. You're still unsure if the volcano was supposed to be a ride or if it was just a random volcano that happened to be there. And there's the murder mansion with actual murder. Oh, so much fun. And you even managed to survive, which is a big plus. Knife land forever. Oh, God. <gasps> and that wasn't all. You did it. And that, what's more important, you did it together. This has been the ultimate feat of friendship and teamwork. And as such, your friendship is officially ascended to the next level. You hear me right? Now your friendship is next level, so you must do the following things. Come up with a very secret handshake only for the people present today. Buy something cheap and silly for all of you to keep as adorable mementos of this day. If you write a review for this game, include an ode to all the ways in which the other players were awesome and essential to the victory. And last but not least, promise you will invite each other to your respective weddings if applicable. No, wait. You will ensure you will be each other's best man, maid of honor, distinguished guest. Fuck any previous meaningful relationships. This is an important one now. And you are forced to give the best speech ever for each other and it must be funny intimate emotive and include at least seven references to this epic road trip and three inside jokes indecipherable to anyone who wasn't here today ultimate friendship that's so nice okay yay yay that's incredible go. that was so much fun oh my god there's so much in this game for real 404 events wow that just um, means you have to take me on another road trip sometime mom Okay, that sounds fun, sweetie. This was a nice road trip. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. Um, yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. We should definitely go outside more with a lot of a lot of people to help. Yeah, like a lot oh. of them. <laughs> and it's got a song at the end. What? Okay, cool. Oh, that's nice. Well, I quite that's enjoyed cute. that, sweetie. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, she's so oh, cute. It's animated. Ah. She's doing it again. Oh, look at the what what? That's that's <gasps> He's not that's happy sussy. about that. That was sussy. Oh, help that turtle. Oh, oh help them. Never mind. That's oh, important that was the too. asphalt. The quick asphalt. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff we didn't see in this game. It looks like mm -hmm. we could have killed mm -hmm. people. That's not a unicorn? I mean... Well, allegedly, I think we did. <laughs> I guess that's true. Probably those children. <laughs> it um, happened off, street, off screen. We didn't see it. It's fine. It didn't happen. I guess so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Oh, there's the wig person. Oh, there's something. So many that... wigs. Yeah, there's your friend that wants to murder you and your... The circus. This is a very cute game, though. It is. It's so cute. I yeah. love these games. The the monster prom games are so cute. Oh wow! I don't and think they're extremely going to... vulgar. Yeah, this is where you learned how to talk, isn't it? That's not good. Oh, she has snakes for hair. Oh, that's so cute. It is. The cute. The snakes are very cute. They have funny little which, faces. Which one was your favorite monster? I like that nice demon that committed his life to his his um his nice demon wife that left him. That was very sad. Um, Aww. I still regret yeah. that. That'll be a regret I hold in my heart for a very long time. That's that very sad. That poor guy. That poor guy. Bang. That poor man. That poor man. But he's gonna. You know, he's probably gonna live with that forever too. Yeah, that'll that'll scar him for life. That's gonna really hurt him. But um. It's, uh, I guess it is what it is, so... It is what yeah. it is. That's life. <sighs> That's life. But I'm glad they all had a very nice time together. Um... Hey, look! Look! Oh, you may have missed it. Oh? 
Our Robbie had this little possessed thing, the hex thing coming out of her. She oh, that's was possessed. Nice. That's very He's nice. funny. They have so many characters there he is. in there. Look, look at him. Look. Oh. He's eating a chili dog. Oh. And, uh, demons kill each other in this game or beat each other up. And there's, there's some of the people we went on the road trip with. And, uh, that, I don't know what that is. Um, and there's also, oh, there, there's your character hugging that guy. They, and they she were had cat hand. ears. She had animal ears like me. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. Well, it was a very fun adventure. I'm it very was. happy that yeah, we got to play this game together. It was very sweet. Oh, that's nice. They're very happy. There they Song go. Song of Silly. Song of Silly. I was just talking about how the game was 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh. I'm glad they enjoyed right. it, too. Thanks for playing with me, Mom. You're welcome, sweetie. I have to go make sure that you never see or talk to Steve again because he's a terrifying monster that has been betraying me at every turn. Aww. But, um... But yeah, thank you so much for, for having me on to your little, your little television show here with all of your little friends. This was very nice. Very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Okay, I'm um, gonna switch. I'm gonna switch over to this thing where okay. we talk. And uh, where is? How do I? There, the button that says quit. That's how you quit. Oh, good job. Right, good job. Let me move us around. And actually, if you want to, you don't have to. You can. You can use. You can. You can. You can drop the thing. You can drop the act now if you want. Mm. If you want, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you sure, sweetie? Yes. <laughs> Okay, sorry. The show's um, over. <laughs> it's... I everyone wanna... knows who this is. Yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows. <sighs> okay. There we go. He's so good. I really, I really, 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 really want to thank you so much for it's... humoring this silly idea. It was very fun. Thank you very much for having me. It was very cool. Yeah, I had an amazing time. <laughs> I really liked that game. It was very cute. Like, honestly, that was adorable. I liked it a lot. Yeah, that was that. I was I was worried for a little bit that it was going to be a, a, a weird. But what? um, it turned out really great. The game. Playing, oh, playing yeah. the game. It was oh, great. Oh, it was adorable. That... All the characters are... I feel really bad about that demon dude, though. That was messed up. I'm going to think about that for <laughs> months. That was that was messed up. That poor guy. Whoa. Yeah. Oh god. But yeah, uh, uh obviously mods. I, I can probably do it. I don't, I don't know. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will do the thing. Yo. Thank you guys for coming out to see uh I to think. see Chizu and my daughter. That right? <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. Of course. You all need to follow Grimmy. Grimmy is amazing. The only solace is it's just a game. I'm gonna go replay that game, find that like wedding scene, and then like make sure I make things right like immediately yes. after this. That's fix, all I'm gonna fix, do. Fix the, oh. fix the timeline. Fix the timeline. I gotta fix the timeline. I gotta go fix it. But um, Shizu, thank you for having me. I'm I'm gonna head off, so I'm gonna pop out of here. But it was really fun hanging out with you, sweetie. Be nice to my daughter. Do not sexualize her. I will murder you. I will kill you with a gun. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, it was very bye. nice. Bye. Bye, 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 Thanks everybody for showing up. I'm sorry if I didn't <laughs> post office. <laughs> of course, Grimmy. Thank you for being here. <laughs> it was such a good time. So much fun. Gosh. I'm uh, you know, uh I will say this was a little bit different than stuff I normally do. Um even when I do collabs, I'm usually not I don't know. It was it was very I don't know how to 
say this, but thank you to everybody. Like, I can go back and thank everybody for all the subs and follows and stuff, but I feel like, um, maybe we can do that another time. That was a lot of fun, and I do appreciate all your support, and not just supporting me, but supporting Grammy. Grammy's amazing, and this was so much fun, and yeah, yeah, you get it, you get it. You get it. It was a good experience, and it was funny, and fun. That was, ugh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go collapse somewhere. Uh, we should probably raid somebody, though. <laughs> Let me see. Where to? Where to? Who, who, who raid? Let's see. Let me check my buttons. Yeah, thank, no, thank you for being here. Thank all of you for being here and watching my silly, silliness. Ah, uh, my button doesn't want to work. I guess I got to do this the hard way. Let me... Let me see. I can't see from here like this. Okay, that's better. That's better. It was nice meeting you, Big Deck. <laughs> and, and Gail Kronos. It was nice to meet all everybody new th and that followed today. I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for your support. I will be streaming Alan Wake 2 tomorrow. Um, and I, I'll, I'll be posting a schedule somewhere. So yeah, just join Chizcord. That's the link. That's pinned if you want to get updates and pings and stuff when I do stuff and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh... It's Mugen Fushigi's birthday. Let's raid Mugen Fushigi. Mugen Fushigi is pretty rad. Mugen Fushigi is a chiz head. Let's raid Mugen. Apparently it's his birthday. So let's go say happy birthday to Mugen. How about that? That sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna be playing Monster Hunter tonight in Chizcord. So if you would like to hang out and you're like, you know, a subscriber, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in the Hostess Club section. And... Yeah, I guess that's it. Have a good, have a good night, everybody. Take care of yourselves. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.